Hang on. Hello, hang on. hello, hello, hello. hello. Hang, on. hang on. Hello. Oh, hang you on. did. If you... Okay, cool. We're, We're hanging, hanging on because Koi was stupid. I wanted we'll to make fucking... sure because I... What fucking spell slot does it give me? Fucking... Uh, third or lower. Third or... Because I wrote spell storing room, but I didn't fucking oh. write what... Yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. it's one third fucking... or lower spell. Donka Chin. Hey, gamers. Hey, Thanks for all the resubs and all that while we were starting up. Welcome to Dungeon Select. We're here. Hype train. Choo choo or whatever. <laughs> the Poggers Express. Please don't. Um. Hey, gamers. We're back. We uh, we're back from our uh, our little cheeky Easter <laughs> Easter break. Um, for session sixty. I need it here. The big yeah, the big six zero. Nine more, and then we can stop playing D and D forever. I, I swear you said the Clearly same didn't thing do that last campaign. The first of course, we fucking did. Of course, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Thirteen-year-old boy, what you more than funny last me. time either? As it's, I, it's funny little, to me. It's a little funny, Koiba. <laughs> it only has to be funny to me. Ethan like Ethan's lashing fuck. out because he's a little sicky wicky. Oh yes, um, just a little. But uh, yeah, hope you guys are all doing very well. Hope you guys had a, a great Easter if you if you celebrated. And if you didn't, then I hope you, had, hope you guys had a really great mundane fucking weekend, I guess. Um, today, it's going to be a fun one. A little bit of travel, a little bit of potentially diving into Brooks's background, since the party is headed to where Brooks is from. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. Um, before we get going, do we have any announcements or anything we would like to share with the class and obviously we all look to laura as that is kind of her <laughs> job here yes 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 um, pixie with the five gifted thank you very much <clears throat> sorry Woo! Pixie. uh next saturday uh the campaign that i run and dutch plays in returns from Let's our go! break we've been on, been on break because one of our players had a baby so it's a pretty big deal yeah. uh we're coming back we're doing sh uh, shorter sessions for the first few to start just to make sure she and baby it works for their schedule and that you know player everyone's having a good time and we will hopefully go back to our original four hour length eventually but yeah 12 eastern standard time 12 noon it's this coming saturday we return for call the nether deep so let's hope go, to see you let's guys go, there let's go it's an early one yeah uh yeah that's our normal time we we kind of dive dove into doing yeah. a little bit of late night sessions for me and Bowdy because I, just I, just I remember like three of them better. being like really late. Yeah. yeah, we did a handful of them because it was like <laughs> either that or we don't play for like a month and mm. Dutch and Bowdy were champions and like we'll we stay like, up bro, till 3 a.m. just Let's so we can play. <laughs> so, uh, Degenerates. It's uh, Saturday, right? Yes, Saturday, April 22nd. Cool, 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 cool. Is the baby the real big bad evil guy? Maybe. Depends, I mean, fully depends I mean, on, OSG, on on Kay's experience. <laughs> OSG, we have a, a a party member here. I can't. You can't be spoiling my shit. DM me these things. Yes, you God. can. OSG. <laughs> yes, you can. Oh shit. We do currently. Which... There is an NPC being made by my stream team, Team SideQuest. That was a charity incentive that they get to make an NPC, and I have to just insert them in the campaign somewhere. So. Who knows? Maybe they could decide to take inspiration from that, and that could What's be their there? NPC. We don't know. I was just going to say Twitch actually has functioning picture in picture during ads now. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Look at that. Sheesh. Yeah. Sheesh. Wait, their features actually work? That's crazy, huh? <laughs> Isn't that wild? Um, cool. Yeah, so uh, fucking call now that he was yeah. back, baby. Let's oh, go. and then the other announcement I have, I am looking for if I can get it to work. Uh, I've got most of it to work. It's the one thing I'm troubleshooting, but I have time. I am looking for anyone who is going to be brave enough to do a Mario Party 3 stream with me for the month of May using the crowd control charity extension for my St. Jude campaign. And I'm going to be doing one of them every Monday other than the first one. So we're going to be four Mario Party streams. So I need 12 people total to do all four. And if anyone's interested, uh, time TBD, it would depend on who's available, who wants to join and what time zones and schedules we're in. But they will be happening on Mondays in the month of May. And the crowd control extension can do things like give people coins or stars, steal coins or stars oh, from people, mess with their dice yeah. rolls, add That's... or remove turns to the game. Like it'll be pure chaos. So if that sounds fun and you would mm. be willing to participate, you would need to be have a PC that can download the app Parsec because you'll use that to connect to my computer Parsec. as if we're all playing locally and my computer's like- Question. Yes. So, why three over four or seven? 
Because that's the only one that crowd control has enabled. So I have to go with there three. Go. I would choose <laughs> four. Okay. I was, I was, I was going to say four is probably all time, but. Hey, I thought Matt, hey man. So. Bell, you love Mario Party 4, right? <laughs> Bell's <laughs> favorite game. But yeah, so that's the, why the, it's what's three. What's the backstory here? Uh, when I went to visit Belle, we went to like an arcade like bit in London. They had Mario Party 4 that you could like pay to play for like mm -hmm. an hour or what, or basically play a game on. And I played Belle, and she kicked my ass for most of the game, and then I won on bonus stars because Mario Party is a fair game. That is how Mario, <laughs> Mario Party is. That is how that works. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Belle was, uh, let's say displeased. Vexed. Vexed, Vexed. Vexed is a good word. I, I love yeah. that Thank word. Thank you. Uh, um, oh, those are all my vexing. announcements. Anyone else got any more? Um, um I guess I kind of have one. And I love vape. Same. Yep. Off tits. Um, um, I'll be DMing my first ever D and D one shot Woo! potential thing next month on the twentieth. Let's go. Channel. So. Uh, any idea? Yeah. Uh, is that Saturday? What day is that? Yeah. It's a Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Any idea what kind of one shot you want to do, or nothing yet? Um. Uh, you get a sequit. That's also very fair. I'm undecided between two, but I'll let you know once I've decided. Yeah, so I'm kind of, uh, I, I kind of put it off for like a month anyways, because I have, this is like last week of classes, next week's all finals. And then mm -hmm. after that I have, you know, just work for like a month. So maybe I'll, I'll have a lot more free time to oh, figure yeah. things out. So more one shots, guys, what are you doing uh, when it yeah. comes to like, play, are you just only people from the S? You want to pick people from the I, community? I well, mean, or? I was thinking y'all, but uh, if, I mean, if as people can't make it or whatever, I might pick some people. It just depends. All right, yeah. So, I mean, it's up to you, man. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. More D&D, yeah. &D, more content. Let's go. I'm, yeah. I'm also willing to, as much as I want to play, it'd be fun, give up my spot since I get to play in three campaigns currently. So if there's someone who doesn't get to play as much D&D &D and is itching, I would I would let them have my spot. I'll say it'd be easy with you guys, too, just because I like the you yeah. guys so well. Baby's it's a little baby, easier to kind of plan DMing. for things. Yeah. I get you. I'm I get scared. You. I get you, I get you. Uh, fuck yeah, dude. Um, as long as I don't have called an edit that Saturday, I'm down to fucking call. Well, now that we know this ahead of time, I'll just not schedule one oh, for that Saturday. So we might, Perfect. if we take a break. Super I always, I'm always looking for an excuse to play. Let's be fucking real. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm done. All right. Uh, uh, I don't think I have any announcements. Do it as anyone else. Going once, going twice. So! <laughs> right. uh, then in that case... I might have had a weird dream, actually. Oh, go that. on. <laughs> you wanna, you wanna, you no, wanna share? It might have been one that I've already talked about. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> no, because that was two weeks ago. Nah, it, it, it's, it's not in my mind right now. Fair enough. Is Kobe doing some snacking today? Twin Peaks, which I'll just uh, I got break. like some jelly in the fridge. So I'll have it like half time. You know, I'll have the break. But apart from that, fair enough. Some snackies. Um... I had to do the late, okay? I'm no, you're sorry. fine, you're fine. You're good, you're good, you're good. Um, all right, then in that case, last we left off, the party had a bit of uh, a bit of downtime in Daramuth. They uh, arrived back there, got absolutely shit faced with uh, yeah. at, at the at the Red Dragon. <laughs> a, a plethora of different drinks and beverages were had. Um, some some I'm burning bush was smoked. Um, did Elasrin actually get drunk, or did he? No, just he drink had that drink. Everyone else drunk. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had more than one drink. That made everyone else drunk. Elasrin got tipsy. He didn't get drunk. Yeah, exactly. Elasrin unhide Brooks, and that is a. Elasrin accidentally Elasrin... like banished Kests to Elasrin... Feywild. Well, that was an accident. Ex it was accidentally. It was not. Elas Elasrin managed to get a ghost Elasrin... drunk, banish Kests, and unhide Brooks. Elasrin, <laughs> Elasrin... Elasrin, Elasrin accidentally. Koibaden. <laughs> we'll that way. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and I de I de drunk uh, Davian too. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was it was wild. Uh, that, you also yeah, did some right. some shopping. Yeah. Uh, got some books. Went, kind of just uh, some of you went to uh, the the city hall to talk to do some research as well, and got caught a glimpse of the Empress and some of her uh, her her, oh, her shit, people. Yeah. Uh, and Reason now the plan is you, you long rested, you leveled up, and the plan today is uh, to head south to Stonefall, oh, a journey that will take you roughly a day or two, depending on whether Jax pulls some map shit out of his ass or not. Um, but yeah, by all means, some of you wake up uh, this, this, this morning, a bit of a lie-in, you know, you've had some drinks, so it'll be like 10, 11-ish. Um, 
You wake up, some of you more hungover than others. What do you guys like? What would you guys like to do? Uh, um, I. I I'll go. Go ahead. Uh, I will merrily be downstairs, like before everyone else, just happy as can be, good mood. <laughs> I mean, so I got no hangover. I went to bed sober. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I also went to bed sober, and I have been keeping a specific eye on our last room. I would be downstairs pretty early, but I also feel like I wouldn't be hungover because I was only drunk via magical means. I didn't actually yeah. ingest anything, so I wouldn't be physically feeling anything. So. Why can't you be I feel fine. Hangover, a ghost hangover. It's <laughs> How is it worse? <laughs> How is it worse? <laughs> <laughs> when your soul is drunk yeah <laughs> wait do you need any sleep as a ghost no i need no sleep no. that's weird so i, I kind of lay awake and just have ponder deep life the universe and everything questions and that's when i ponder what's your drunk you Am relax I really like it's just our guard know. cat for the sake of like long resting you still have that like downtime and stuff but there's no like yeah. real penalty like exhaustion doesn't apply to you unless it's applied to you by like magical means type of thing yeah but it's, it's that like when we rest, we can we only really need to sleep for like six hours, and then two of them we can do light activity, whereas <laughs> yeah. ghost can just light activity for eight hours. Yeah, exactly. Um, just like see um, watching as meditating while high yeah. and like. I'm gonna <laughs> stumble out of the tavern, okay, and head the Bro. Arcana Emporium. The Arcana Emporium, okay. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Uh, the Arcana Emporium. Um, as you know from previous campaign, um, <gasps> large chain of, of magic shops all around. Uh... Can I come too? I also want to go. Oh god. Oh, well, I started something now. Did Jax announce, announce that he's going, going to go on an errand, quick errand real quick? Or is he just kind of like... Yep. Sorry, I'm sure, back. I'll announce it. Huh? Uh, I'm going to the Arcana Emporium. Does anyone want to go? Me. Ooh, me, 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 me. And I promise I won't... I won't... I'll try not to break any magical things while I'm there. I'll only legally purchase things. <laughs> I don't know. As long as you don't get caught, I don't think it's a problem. It takes a pretty long time. I feel like they'd start to question why I was just hanging out there, not buying anything for an hour. But I, I don't know. There might be something worth buying, I, so. I'm sure they'll question the fact that you're a ghost more I'm than my body. Else. I'm in my body right now. Hello? Shush? Whisper? Oh. That's true. <clears throat> All right, well, uh, onward to the shop. Right. The Arcana Emporium, as, you, uh, as you're aware of, is this large chain of, of magic shops spread throughout the entirety of, uh, of the Empire. Um, they all kind of look the same. This, like, large, almost, like, mansion-type structure with these, like, spiraling... With this, like, a spiraling tower and magic and fireworks just going off around it 24-7. Uh, some people would argue it's a bit of an eyesore. Some um, some others would find it very um, impressive, very very pretty to look at. Um, and as you get there, even though it's it's like almost towards the afternoon already, because you had a bit of a sleep in. Um, so you get there, and there's the general you know hustle and bustle, as uh, as they say. Um, and as you walk in. Um, the inside of the shop, way bigger than the outside would, uh, would imply. Definitely some, some magical shenanigans going on there. Um, are you just gonna go look down some racks, or are you trying to approach a clerk? What's your, uh, what's the plan? Um, I want to approach a clerk. Mm -hmm. After I grab, oh, fuck, that's a lot, hold on. Are the things organized by like price, or are they just or laid out in like? It's more of like organization. It's organized. Or, like category of items. Yeah, category of items like jewelry, okay. armor, weapons, potions, books, scrolls, all that jazz. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go around and pick up about 200 gold pieces of uh, materials that I'm gonna be working with. Just, just your general like crafting um, materials for your like yeah, 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 yeah. quote it's magical, craft magical item. crafting. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Can I? Um, oh, go ahead. No, you're good. Can I just look at? I'm looking anything that is up to like 500 gold that looks like it might have a nifty enchantment I could absorb after purchasing. Um, have a look. Is it 500 gold the max budget? 
and something that would just be like, what's the most useful or what feels the most magical or like powerful that I'd be drawn to to consume? For that uh, budget, there is uh, a gem that kind of um, piques your interest. Uh, it is called uh, an elemental emerald. Okay. Um, the name also just seems very on theme. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> so if you want to know exactly what that implies or what that wants, what that does exactly, uh, you can. Uh, okay. you can I'll ask, ask a shopkeep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, shopkeep will tell you that uh, with this gem, it's a one-time use, uh, but you can you can break the gem, and because this is an emerald, it will summon a uh, water elemental by your side, as if you were you mm -hmm. had cast the conjure elemental spell. Uh, uh, to fight by your side for the duration of the spell. It's a one-time use thing. It's uh, it's marked mm. for 460 gold pieces. Um, mm. Concentration lasts up to an hour. Eh, I was looking for... hoping for something that could be a bit more than single use. And I've heard, uh, heard stories about magic like that going awry and your ally... And, your, and Summoned there's, ally turning on you, so oh, that's that makes me nervous. There's also something that was like said in character to the shopkeeper. Uh, and for that price range, you also uh, see a vicious javelin. That's what it's called. Ooh, that sounds fun. Um, basically, the way <laughs> vicious uh, weapons work, you know, depending on you know, there's a, there, there's a, an, a version for each uh, weapon. But um, what Vicious does, it, it, it basically, when you critically hit something, it just does even more damage than you would normally already do via the crit. So just another extra damage buff on top of the buff you already get for a crit. So then, out of character, if I consumed the enchantment, it becomes a regular javelin, but then would I just be able to add the Vicious property on any crit attack? That I... Um, any... This is tricky. Yeah, that's because what I Because this mean. enchantment oh. definitely doesn't really lend itself to your consumer yeah. enchantment thing, but I'll say that any weapon attack okay. that you control... Yeah, like, not when I make someone do it, but if I did it, like, in my body, yeah. if I did it, kind of thing. Yeah, I don't right. think this yeah. particular enchantment really okay. like, leans into yeah. your uh, thingamajiggy. Uh, there is yeah, also fine. something which is a little... Uh, more expensive. Okay. Um, it's marked for a thousand gold, but it's a short sort of life stealing. And the clerk tells you that um, uh, this again. I never mind. This also doesn't really. These are all things that don't really fit for your thing because it's like weird because you have hey, new weapons. Fine. There's a couple yeah, more things though, because like I have the fucking list of shit that they sell. Like, this, this what does that life stealing one do just for uh, edification? Uh, again, when you crit, you deal an extra 1d10 necrotic damage, and however many necrotic damage you deal, you get as temporary hit points as well. Oh, that's kind of sick. So a short sort of life stealing. Um, I will pass, and I'll just be looking and just accompanying Jax and Kess. I will keep my money. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can find something real quick that kind of leans into your uh, your gimmick a little more, a little better. You can you can uh, talk to the other ones. Yeah. Or, like, Is there anything else anyone else first. wants to wants to look for in particular? I'm looking for spell components. Yeah. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, let me pull up the list. The list. The motherfucking rare item. Mm. <laughs> And I also want to use the the razor for find familiar. Oh yeah, you bring in uh, what's his name back? Thorn. Poor Thorn. Yeah. <laughs> been gone for a while. Uh, it's been a while. Yeah. Dutch trying to remember need... what his activation sentence is for Hawthorn. <laughs> 
<laughs> I need hey, uh, an, un undead, an undead eyeball encased in a gem worth at least 150 gold. Okay. And uh, a tears inside a gem worth at least 300. And How many? Then I have. Uh, let me just check. Like, when it comes to reagents like that, a gem. if you like, especially your kind of poem, they will have all of that in stock. Just, just let me know how many yeah. you want to mark off that that amount of gold, and, and we'll just have it. Um, Here's instead of a gem, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then I also want to do find familiar. How much is that? Not familiar to use a brazier. It's, That's it's, ten it's, gold. It's just a like a ten gold charge to use the brazier for that. Okay. And I think it, I the casting time on Find Familiar is a little while, no? It's like an yeah, hour. It's, it's like an hour. Yeah, so you have to spend an hour there doing it. So how many uh, components are you buying? Let me do some math for money. Okay. Uh, Laura. Oh, bell math time. Yes. You do also spot a bunch of spell scrolls that you could potentially uh, okay. use your consume for. And what I'll say for the purpose of your consuming enchantment is as long as you have the, you know, the power of the spell scroll as one of your magical effects, you know, without having it been, been replaced. Yes. Uh, I'll say that you can cast said spell uh, once every long rest. Okay. So, I think that's a good, okay. good like, kind of like middle ground for that to, yeah. to work with. Time to find a wish spell scroll. Yeah, good luck, man. <laughs> Spoiler alert, there is none. I was like, because we wouldn't just then use that to like, you know, find a more permanent solution to my situation <laughs> as opposed to... uh, we don't need a and permanent that's just solution variety of, a variety of spell scrolls um, if you're looking for the 500 gold budget they're not going to be super uh, powerful but yeah well I could go up to I'm trying to keep it 500 but if there's any that catch my eye that go up to 650 I, could, I would do as well but uh, I mean there's a fuckload there is these things that look uh off either offensive or that are useful at helping protect people uh let's have a look or things that i can do while keeping a distance and being useful in a combat because like obviously everything i did before was i was like up close first one in and i need to learn how mm -hmm. to adapt to be helpful not doing that at least not in uh, there's body. four scrolls that uh they are all pro uh priced 150 gold Okay. Uh, there's a scroll of Arms of Hadar. Which is, uh, you know. Is it like my old spectral arms? <laughs> sort of. Um, uh, not really. You, no, uh, tendrils terrifying. of dark energy will erupt from you and batter all creatures within 10 feet oh, of yeah. you. So it's like an AOE. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, there's Chaos Bolt. Okay. There is uh, a scroll of Ice Knife. Um... Oh. Which is just like a range spell attack, throw a, an ice um, knife at someone, and there okay. is a scroll of uh, protection from evil and good. I'll, uh, I would be interested in the chaos bolt and the ice knife one. Yeah, they're marked one hundred and fifty gold each. I will buy both of those. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, if you want to, obviously these won't fit into your attunement slots. You don't have to attune to these. But I'll say that you have access to... I have a separate to, page to track yeah. stuff like that. I'll say that you have access to the Ice Knife and Chaos Bolt spell upon consumption uh, okay. once every long rest. Okay. That's so sick. Okay, uh, my maths. Uh, I'm gonna get two undead eyeballs and okay. use the bracelet thing. Two undead eyeballs? No crystal tier gem thing? Nah. I don't have enough okay. money. How much? Uh, Do you need I'm money? Broke. I can give you money. But I don't have any money. <laughs> I don't have any money. How much would you need for the other thing? After, because I, I still, so I have three hundred and sixty-seven gold left after buying my scrolls. It is three hundred for one, and I have ninety-six gold left. <laughs> so <it'd> be, <laughs> I can two hundred and four. I can give, I can give you a hundred and four. So, uh, if that's what you want to do, then yeah, mark off the what, the three hundred gold for the gem, and then the is it yep. one fifty each for the eyeballs? Yeah. Yeah, so three hundred again. I now be, have uh, so six hundred zero total. gold. <laughs> this is broke. All right. <laughs> and uh, obviously, Coco, you drinks. bought your your crafting materials, so mark down that two hundred yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, and then I want to find 
to whoever seems like the, the person to talk to to sell things. I'd probably be the clerk that was kind of guiding, uh, digging around. Uh, okay. um, I, I have an item I don't know if you're interested in. Mm, we tend to buy a variety of items. Uh, if it's uh, of interest to us for the purpose of reselling, then... Or using uh, the enchantment onto something else, of course. We can transfer those uh, spells. Well, it's um, a piece of a very rare... Uh, perhaps could call it a one-of-a-kind item. That's so. Do tell. And I'll pull out the heart of uh, fuckface. Um... Oh my god, the fucking Balzafon? Yeah, it's like fortified oh, days old, so a little, Ooh, yeah. a little squishy, but you will pull out the helm of Eros. You, you <laughs> pull out the heart, and it is. It's been how? It's not 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 forty five days. It's, it's been five days. It's been five days. Forty five. I was like, forty five days. So it's definitely yeah. It's you like pull like it out, and he's kind of. That is. Is there an atmosphere in the fucking folder? Yeah. Interesting. So, there's very limited air in a bag of holding, right? So how? Well, what do you mean? But microbes need like it's, it's... no air, right? Like, and they yeah. can breathe using fucking whatever. Yeah, They're like, yeah, yeah. no oxygen available. Fucking. We literally did this research this, this week this, this during the Tomb of Annihilation. Yeah. We had the same exact thing come up, and apparently, most bacteria and microbes, if they that normally would require oxygen, if there's no oxygen there, they'll just respirate using some other means. It's crazy. They can just do that. Anaerobic yeah, respiration. <laughs> they can just do that. Like, I choose awesome, to breathe actually. a different way. It's yeah. like, what? Can, we get, <laughs> can we get a magic cooler that things don't? Decaying. Uh, you can. I mean, oh, well, bag of colding. That's, that, that's the plan. <laughs> a lunchbox. You laugh, <laughs> Bell, but that's that's real. That's that's. It's a no, real that's name. actually an that's item. No, 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 I, I know. One. It's just it's just a funny name. <laughs> yeah. Um. I want one. It was a funny name. Sorry, sorry. So, uh, he kind of looks and. <laughs> it's the heart of Balzafon, of the Dark Eight. <laughs> you might have to enlighten me. I'm not too familiar. Um. Well, we were sucked into a hell dimension. Um, Balsafon was there. We k killed him. I ripped his heart out. And now I was curious if you guys would want it. I think this is more of a other collector piece of something that, if this is true, the people from that hell dimension might want back. So I'm going to say for the purposes and safety of myself and our other employees and our shop and the city, I'm going to politely decline. Uh, fair enough, I suppose. But I'm sure um, there's some collectors out there that don't mind the attached risk that comes with owning a yes, heart like that. Uh, how much would a bag of cording be? Um, I, I, I can guess why you ask. Um, give me a moment. Let me quickly check my um. Where the fuck did my mouse go, guys? Where this oh my god! <laughs> um, I ran back in its hidey hole. Uh, just fucking so you have to tell me you've got that fucking thing. I can gentle Jay. pose body parts. I can gentle. Can you? Uh, a corpse or other remains. I think a dude, heart fucking I other remains. Dude, fucking, I should have that day one. Yeah, dude. I if who needs a thing. decomposed dragon's body? We should have used it on that. <laughs> uh, a bag, bag of, a bag of ritual, coding dude, will both. set you back roughly 150 gold pieces. And can carry uh, roughly 100 pounds worth of oh. weight in it. Yeah, that's expensive. Uh, done. Yeah, obviously, uh, 15 uh, any, any perishable items uh, put in will not degrade. Um, yeah, and otherwise it works very similarly to a bag of holding, which I'm sure you're aware of, given that you just pulled that big art out of that tiny bag. So I'm going to assume that that, that is what that is. Molding into a bag of colding. <laughs> um, yeah, and he presents you with this bag, and it looks very similar to a bag of holding, but you can see that this is like this like cold air kind of kind of emanating or like emitting from the bag. Yeah, like when you open up an ice chest on a hot yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, there you go. Um, uh, thank you so much. And if you happen to come across someone that would want it, uh, it'll say a 10% finder's fee. I'll put the feelers out. Uh, thank you very much. All right. And I'll put the heart in the bag of cold and uh, get ready to head out. Right. I'm just going to quickly do some basic math here, right? Now I'm scared. Given that, okay. 
Pit fiends weigh roughly 800 pounds. Oh, how big it is? So I'm going to say that that heart... I like 100 pounds? No, 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 no. no heart, your heart okay. is not one eighth of your body. I'm gonna say that heart. I mean, that heart weighs know. a nice twenty pounds, so it takes about a fifth, up, okay. up, up a fifth of your That's cool. storage space there. Get some ham sandwiches. <laughs> but uh, fucking cows here, dude. Get them, get them pre-cut yeah. and everything. Um, yeah. Anything else you guys want to do while you're there? Bag of clothing isn't a D and D Beyond item. No, it's like a homebrew uh, thing that it's a homebrew thing. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, but it's one of those homebrew items that is like widespread and used in a lot of campaigns. Yeah. Commonly used. So I'm sure if like in the break um, I quickly add it to my homebrew items in Dean and Beyond, that it'll that'll find like twenty different results. So don't worry about it. I'll do that. I'm gonna sell an uncut thing there for anyway. emerald. Uncut emerald, yeah, they def they definitely buy those purely because uh, gems are enchantable or. Or materials and components for other spells, so. Yes, oh, she uncut does. Gems. Uncut she emerald. Uncut gem. Not at a. Seventy-five gold. Seventy-five gold. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. We'll, we'll, we'll give you the. Because uh... they're not going to resell the gem, oh, so they yeah. don't need to make profit on that. They're going to use it for spell components and stuff, so they'll make profit anyway. So they can, they can offer you what exactly the monetary value of the item is. And then I will hand it to Dagon. Wait, what are you giving me? Uh, this Five is gold. uh seventy-five gold back. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Thanks. I just remembered I had it. <laughs> there you go. It's Belle looking at her fucking inventory list. After I, 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 I mean, I do the same thing, dude. <laughs> I'll, I'll be like, oh yeah, I still have that. No. I just like take it as a foregone conclusion that I have nothing worth selling in my bag. Just... And I was mostly right. <laughs> it's like it's like last campaign when we forgot about all those body parts I had in the bag of holding, and then they were just jelly. And you sure. didn't have a bag of holding that time, so those were no, those were just gross. jelly. Yeah, those yeah. were just gross. Uh, all right, so you guys headed back to uh, spring cleaning, back to the tavern to regroup with your uh, yeah friends. Yeah, with Hawthorne. Now he's back, my dude. Hey, how's it going? Martin's you miss me. Boy. Yeah. Dying sucked, by the way. Let's try to avoid that this time, eh? Mm -mm. At least you missed the hells. Maybe dying didn't suck. Mm. Well, if you avoided getting hit next time, you wouldn't die. Huh? I'm pretty sure one of you killed him. I don't really remember. It's kind of a blur. It's just I was there with you for one second, and the next second I was back home. No. Yeah. That happened to me fairly recently, too. Really? <laughs> Crazy how that works. I know. <clears throat> there was a it map. must be a fey thing. Perhaps. Induced by clerics. Eh? It doesn't matter. There's a stupid <laughs> knot in my necklace, and it's driving Pissing me you nuts. off. All right, so you, uh, you reconvene at the Red Dragon. The rest of your party yeah. mates are also up and at him. Uh, I'm pretty sure we said last time that breakfast was included, so you uh, can all enjoy that before you hit the road. Hell yeah! Right. Well, I am um... spread DM. Uh, this is like a, a semi-tourist trappy thing. So, uh, the, the usual suspects, bar. but it's definitely uh, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a continental breakfast. breakfast yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'll get my orange juice and put in the fucking bread and the toaster machine. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking sitting there awkwardly like... Lazarin just stood in the way of everyone else because he's got like four bits of toast, but he wants to run through twice. <laughs> <laughs> run through twice is fucking heresy. Never. I would never. <laughs> I'm going to pay the money. I might as well get the most out of it. However, however, however what would happen is you put in too, slightly too high a setting, you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm croissants, I don't give a fuck. This is, how, this is how you beat the buffet, is you use up the electricity by toasting them. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you beat them. I just they beat look... buffets by going small plate, everyone, then big Everyone plate thinks it's about plate. high value items, it's not, it's about the toast. <laughs> I just look slightly longingly at if there's anything that looks like pastries. I'm just like, oh. Yeah, yeah, there are. <laughs> oh, I mean, there's pastries in front of us. 
Yeah. <laughs> Me too. It's fucked up. I I mean, you still haven't figured out if you can taste when you're popping. So. Figure that out another time. True. Maybe not. And there here. are less people. Well, yeah. Would you like us to? That's pass like a roadside experiment. <laughs> Shall we bring some of the pastries? Well, we'll, we'll be like stale and like mushy or, or like crushed in our bags or something by then. Later. Eh. Well, technically, from a from a from a you no, know, I don't. You, obviously, you, you know about the bag of holding now. The item description says perishable items. It doesn't necessarily. It's like it's not like a fridge. Per, it's only. It works like a bag of holding being like pocket dimensions. So if it's, it's a perishable away. item like a pastry, it'll stay fresh. It's not like a, a fridge. It's only a fridge if it needs to be a fridge. You get what I mean? The unlimited food glitch. So you could Everything's save exactly those like pastries. Duplication glitch. So you could like, save those pastries inventory. in that bag, and they'll be just as good in like ten days. You have, right exit, you have to save, exit out, and then reload. Yeah. Yeah. And then it underflows, and that means you actually get like two fifty-five of oh, that. Go fuck yourself, you pay yourself. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> then, then that like <laughs> means you move the map nice location of your exit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Last sorry, time. I'm sorry for bringing it up, guys. Kat is just stealing the bag of holding and shoving pastries into it. <laughs> You're like, why is this bag so heavy now? That heart was only 20 pounds. pounds. Of 80 pounds of pastry. 80 pounds of pastry. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking <Christ>. sex rolls. Somehow like, all that food is gone. She just grabs just like a <laughs> pot of beans and just... <laughs> yeah. 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 Just goes, like, beans. It's, go it's going down the line and it's just like... <laughs> I mean, it's whatever. It comes out whatever temperature it goes in. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually like, but yeah, I want the beans. Oh, God, <laughs> coffee. Oh, yeah, oh, like, no. oh, God, no. Just pouring a coffee pot in there. Like, how are you supposed to get that yeah, out you, again? Like, I, like you just can imagine you know, logically you could pour it back out the back. No, no, because like, let's say like you put coffee no. in there, right? Because no, you put no. coffee in there, right? You put coffee and beans, but they mix and pour, you, pour out. Surely, when you when you pull out, do you pull out everything you got? You can't pull no, out like half a cup of coffee. It's all of it, right? So yeah, the yeah, coffee yeah. is one object. You, yeah. you turn this into the craziest weapon by putting only like scalding hot liquids in the bag of holding, and then you you go up to your enemy and just turn it inside out. You just yeah. turn it and falls out of a bag of holding. So just hundred pounds of like hot Jesus. things, just like hot oil. Of uh, oil. <laughs> Dio, oil. Theoretically, oh, how well, oil is imperishable technically, so it wouldn't be able to. Uh, food items only. They food, heat as yeah. food. Oh, food okay, like. that's fine. Okay, look, it looks Oil like we're You can't you use mean? lava, but you can use microwave pizza rolls. <laughs> no, he means like, I thought you meant like oil as in like, you know, oil. No, not... yeah, you, yeah. No, you just like, heat up a batch of cooking oil. It's no. still gonna fucking ruin someday. Prison napalm. I no, no, no. no <laughs> we Prison make, napalm? No, we make, no, we make fondue. Melted make sugar. fondue. You yeah. sugar on someone else, fucking ruin, get that ruin going. It's yeah. really bad. Hey yeah, man, listen, you guys, you guys do whatever you want to do, and we'll see if I allow it by the time. Uh, how much damage, again. theoretically? How much we'll, cheese we'll let do, Jax do it. He's the, he's the artificer. To make 100 oh, pounds of fondue, how much cheese do you need? Because it's going to be more than 100 pounds. <laughs> I don't know, man, and I don't care to do the math. Can you milk a druid? 100 pounds of cheese, probably, Corey. Can we It'll milk trim? Right? It'll be more, because you it will reduce. You lose some. From the heat, how many pounds the of fondue do you need to kill Tiamat? Oh my god. Seven. Weirdly. <laughs> exactly seven, though. Exactly. Yeah, at, like, point one and above or below doesn't work. Any more, it actually exactly heals seven. Tiamat. Oh, god. Anyway, hey, guys, you guys have your breakfast. <laughs> Save oh, god, some pastries for the track. road with the bag of colding, I guess. Mm. Or, and mm. beans if you really want to, whatever. It's, it's no, we're not putting beans in there. I refuse. No beans, just pastries. <clears throat> you yeah. guys... And pastries bacon. full of beans. And bacon. Ooh, and bacon. Good point. <sighs> I regret you giving you a bag of bacon. Sausages? Fuck bag of coding. <laughs> pocket bacon. Eh. Pocket bacon! Eh. It's like mixed up with Pancakes? like your, your pocket, like, you know, like the little... Um, lint. Lint. Yeah. Pocket dogs. That's part of oh. the charm. Ask mm. Cargo shorts, bacon. granola bar. Right, anyway. <clears throat> Enough shenanigans. Is there anything you would like to do after you've had your breakfast? Yes, some shenanigans. I pull out my map. Yeah. What the wait? What the fuck's the plan today? We're just going south. Pretty much. I, yeah. yeah. We're traveling. Um, are we getting a cart? I mean, do we want to get a cart? It's not a horrifically long travel. 
I mean, I, I, could, don't... I I've got my own horse. If someone else wants to pay for a cart, I'm more than happy to sit on it. But I, I, I don't know if we're banned from them. carts in this town. Why would we ban I mean, carts? We saved it. Well, I don't know if our cart ever came back, and we promised we'd bring it back because we rented it. You did lose a cart and some horses, that is true. Yeah. Well, we don't know that we I... lost them. The, the people that we saved, like that one farmhouse, might have taken our cart and I stuff mean, back. Well, Counterpoint, so... we went to the hells. We have, you know, a fairly good <laughs> you, I, I would quite enjoy a walk, you know? I think that would be quite nice. A little, little jaunt. Yeah. I mean, I would all. like a cart, I just can't afford it. What? Me okay, neither. what if we don't get a... What if we don't get a cart? What if... I'll get us all a few horses. Or like a horse each. Well, you don't need to get me a horse. Uh, That's... I mean, it's uh, gonna be... Well, expensive. the horses would probably be more expensive than the cart. Well, I could mm. just talk to horses, and if I maybe convince them all to run away, then... We just sort you of... Wanna, we're gonna steal horse horses? Horses? No, the horses are going to commit run away, and we're going I mean, to commit commandeering <laughs> horses. Hold on. Well, for everyone hold on. that doesn't speak hold horses, on. we commit horse theft. No, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> do they're gonna commit run away too? Oh, <laughs> thing, thing, one of the I things run I can away do. I talk to one one of the things I can do to creatures I possess is make them take the dash action. Can I possess a horse? <laughs> uh, does the <laughs> does the possession away? trait specify creature or humanoids? Oh, uh, hold on, that's a good question. I'll check for you. Oh, well, no, all I'm thinking now good. is is you know the shitty like <laughs> DVD adverts. You wouldn't possess a horse. <laughs> 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 Starting at second level, you discover the ability to enter the bodies of other creatures. There you go. Influence you could. Creatures. You could. Yeah. Absolutely. You I could. could. I could just. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> They're fleeing of their own free will by just possessing yeah. them and yeah, running you away. Could. Uh, yeah, you could. The jumping ship. Yeah. Yes, you could. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. So, the only the problem I see. That's just like uh, there's this ghost horse. <laughs> like there's this ghost fucking <laughs> with the horses, and it's like it's like. <laughs> but if one horse, like a... if, if 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 the ghost horse is spooked and runs away, then the other horse might be a little easier to convince. They might follow. You pick the lead horse, they follow him. Right. If I had a nickel, if I just walk everyone. around the stable going. <laughs> And uh, secretly, I'm going. Yo, 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 you're all gonna fucking run away. We're gonna save you. <laughs> and then, the no one will be suspicious. <laughs> um, it is the only thing I, I, I do see a problem. <laughs> they probably chase after the horses. Yeah, horses are faster than men. Uh, <laughs> yes, but I'm sure they'll catch them eventually. They had to get them somehow. I mean, they also like. Can see from a like men can, people can see like a long distance, so they would see us getting on the horses <laughs> and just fucking off. <laughs> right, but then what are they gonna do about it? Is, it? it is like well, we have to come back here. Wait, wait, to go. I can also, I can also, because I consumed that ring, make a fog cloud. So we make the horses run into the fog cloud, so they can't see us get on the horses in the fog cloud, and the fog cloud dissipates, and the horses are just gone. The trippiest thing is, is the fog cloud is gonna be coming out of the possessed horse. Everyone is going to be looking, and this horse is just going to go into this fucking cloud of fog. And then we're all going to scurry out from the sides of the road into the fog cloud. That's the grab cue. A horse That's each. the cue. Grab a horse and go. Um, yeah. The yeah. supplies we getting supplies we need to look after no. a horse for three or four days total is probably not worth the effort of just fucking walking. I'll be honest. Is, just the, is the supplies you need to look after a horse? Pond, yeah, I'm. Grass. I'm more just putting this out there for fun. I'm not. Suggesting that I, 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 I missed this. I also, I also wouldn't have <laughs> thought that you of all people would be on board for the whole theft. This was you. I mean, not, if we can find horses theft. that it's they're theft. not being treated well, well, then this I this would be better. Everyone's gonna understand theft. It is me. <laughs> it is. I mean, this is also not the first time that Daigon has stolen a horse. So. That's the thing. That that seal's kind of already been broken. How about we so don't steal from people? You know, that'd be great. How about we don't steal from people in stupid ways? And also, don't steal from people, you know, in a way, in a in a town city that we're going back to. It's not like yeah. we're fucking off forever. We, we have to come back. Plan. It'll be perfect. They'll never know. It, so and we'll gonna be like, we'll come also, back. It will come back in a few days and say, oh, we found these horses out there. Also, oh, oh, sorry. So I don't have to steal a horse. And then we get a reward money. Right. 
Don't give us. Don't be putting don't up posters like, no, oh, we're not stealing eight off. horses. I am 1, full gold vetoing. Reward. We're not stealing this. We're not doing this. We so, know. So you don't have any Are you just having this conversation like in the middle of the town? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I feel like Why? we're doing Why? hushed voices. No. Yeah. No, it's I think at one. I think at one. At one point, Elias is like, I'm not stealing a fucking horse. <laughs> just like, like it gets like the, like nearer the like, end. Like all the people like, that yeah. are also guests what? just looking at you. Yeah, so now we're like, and well, then uh, well, now we can't no, do it. We're now playing you made a it game. Weird. Sorry, oh, it's a we're game. Sorry, a game. sorry, it's a drinking game. It's a drinking game. I'm not seeing the I got the game. knife out of my necklace. Yeah, we're we're playing drink, fucking board game. Secret no, you're in the, the, the pub all over again. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean drinking pubs and shouting? <laughs> Oi, hey! I did it. You're a loud asshole that drinks. <clears throat> right, so. I got so... the neck out of my necklace. Or is he a drinking asshole? I'm so proud of you, Bill. I got the neck Thank you. It took. This whole time. <laughs> Yo, Belle, I did the same because my necklace wasn't knotted like a fucking idiot. Yeah, the fuck off. So, oh, Koiba, you look great is, in a turtleneck. Is there also a neck in your <laughs> necklace, Koiba? With that medallion? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Same color. Get get a turtleneck in that color. You look great. Why do I feel like I'm being pranked for by Barney on? and the ninjas too? <laughs> no, I actually agree with you. Ninjas. Ninjas. <laughs> What's going on? Guys, let's... I don't know. Let's go back. Sorry. Sorry, Dan. We had a week off. We had a week off. We yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Let's try and... Uh, let's, let's right. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go down to oh, in the stable. Oh, no, we're not doing this. No, we're taking a vote. We're just going to walk. No, no, no. We, won't, we don't need a vote, right? Just, just going to walk. If, we if, do need a vote. If you happen to catch up with me and I've got a little flock of horses, don't ask any questions. Uh, you don't need to. By the way, if you get horses, you don't need to get me one because I can get my own horse. Davian, man of the people, is going to ruin someone's livelihood for the sake of us not walking. Um, when Davian. was I ever man of the people? <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> those horses deserve to be free. What to die in the wilderness? I'm a man of the I horses. Have the moral system. <laughs> Mostly man, but horse where it counts. <laughs> Teeth. <clears throat> <laughs> Listen, all I'm proposing is we borrow some horses for a few days because we can't fucking afford. And it's I mean, faster. I can afford them as well. Like, I could probably afford them. Oh, God. Yes. Mr. Did DM, I... how much faster is it on horse? Uh, we've gone is over this faster? so many times. No horse faster. travel. No we, no, we haven't. We've gone over how fast it would be on a cart, which oh. is the same as walking. Right. 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 But if okay. we all have horses, we better be fucking zooming down that road. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That's a good point. Clippity clop, clippity clop. A riding horse's speed is 60 foot, so... So, so half as long, really. I mean... Twice, maybe yeah, twice yeah. as compared to most of us. Okay, well, if you're... Fast, yeah, okay, you yeah, know you're right. Riding horse... Oh, yeah. Half as long, yes. yeah. Correct. Riding horse uh, would, I guess, because most of your walking speed is 30 feet. Uh, and, you know, even though there's some people that can do... The exactly, yeah. so it yeah, would cut your travel time in half, time. technically. So keep in mind, half day. keep in mind though that horses do need occasional breaks to drink some water. Some yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But I'll say that you can you can go um, <clears throat> what normally would be like an almost two day journey. You could probably it's almost midday now, so you won't be able to get to Stonefall by the end of today. But uh, you'll get there very early in the morning, like late tomorrow. But with my well, map, if we, we rode through the there. night, yeah. But if we rest yeah. overnight, we would rest, you will get there like half. Like you tomorrow. will get there about twenty four hours from now. See that isn't that pretty? You know, does that sound pretty good? Or well, we're saving what a half a day to a day. We Are we in a big rush? rush? Not I, particularly. In the <laughs> yeah. All right. I, okay, Mister. Oh, I'd like, I've quite fancy a jaunt. Right. Just. Same thing, he's going some sort of I mean, I cockamamie so around the way, sort of getting some horses. How about this? We're going to see my family, and I need some time to get adjusted to that, so we'll just fucking walk. And we'll well, you've had about a week. No. I know he's still going over the whole hell thing, which I to be really fair. I really just go on my own. Like, this is an option. Like, no, no, we're meeting your family. Like horse to come on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, let's fucking let's walk then. <laughs> let's vote. I, I really I think vote we should put we it don't to vote. vote. I'm all in favor of getting horses. Acquiring horses. I'm I am in favor. Now, I am also in favor. Look at that. Well, well, 
all those even against, if no one else is democracy even if no one else is, is me and Jackson get horses, and you'll be really sorry then. <laughs> Will I? Great, that means you can leave. Yeah, you can. And I'll literally, like, look at the patch on my cloak. And let me summon a horse. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'll be super sorry when you guys have stolen horses and I just have one. Yeah, how long for, though? <clears throat> Forever. It summons a horse with yeah. a saddlebag that is mine. Yeah. Where does it summon that. the horse from? Is it it's just so a random horse living that. elsewhere in a field somewhere? That I'm just. Teleported? We don't need to go through this bullshit, you know? We can just walk. <laughs> it's... What if the horse didn't want to be teleported? What if you take it away from its family? What? Is there a fucker horse trapped the inside the cloak? I'm also that seems not the... even less humane than a stable. I'm also not the fucker who made the cloak or the patches. I just bought the thing. <laughs> oh, so because you didn't make it, it's okay. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. D &D. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just gonna oh. you know what? I'm just gonna start walking. Now that I'm done giving you shit, how many patches do you have that give horses? Just the one. You know, one. No, for fuck's sake. He has mostly patches that give dogs. He has I lots got, of dogs. I got a lot of dogs. A lot of mastiffs. A lot of mastiffs. Lot of mastiffs. I could go well, fuck something by myself. Sled. I've got a horse and I've got six make dogs. Make a dog sled. Well, that's dog perfect sled. if we're starving. <laughs> what? No. no. Yeah. Yeah, DM. Hello. In theory. Oh no. <laughs> can I turn Onu into a horse? A beast of land, right? Technically, I'd say so. Yeah, yeah. I yeah think absolutely. It's, is a horse medium? Like you chose, yeah. yeah. You chose the painted dog, but like you can make it any land animal. I'm pretty sure. As so long I could as make Onu a size. horse. So you could, yeah. Don't even need to steal one. <clears throat> he'll he'll, he'll look fucking badass too with like the the primordial like horse markings and shit. Are they? Can make him a horse. You can make him a pony. I can make him a. I make him a, a pony. pony. Shetland pony. <laughs> you can make him a pony. But then that you're not. Cool. Then you're not even gonna ride on him. You're just. Then he's just there to look cute. You can ride a pony. Davin is not, not the heaviest. A when you're really, really tall, it's Davin's not really nice guy. to the pony. Oh, true. Davin is pretty guy. petite. If he's just like on the larger end of him, pony, you then you can make him a mule. Mules are medium, but horses are large. There you go. Mules you go. can carry. But they also yeah. don't move as fast as a horse, so that's lame. <laughs> yeah, that's a little pun. Oh, I just made a little pun, and no one, I didn't even intend to. We got funny. it. We just don't care. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's funny. Uh -huh. Right, guys. I'm so walking. What's happening? You guys walking? We're walking. Yeah. Do you have any right. shorts that we can use? I'm gonna turn oh my over God, to I do. I just hit 15. No, that sucks. No, I'm not going to turn him into a mule. That okay. sucks. He's way cooler than the dog. Come on. Fair. <clears throat> What's your roll, uh, Soko? Uh, 15. So I do find a shortcut. Yeah, and you whip out the... And it cuts your travel time in half, right? Like, as soon as you find a shortcut, it's always yes. halved? Okay. Yep, yep. Yeah, you whip out Pretty your sure. maps, and uh, you figure that there is uh, a there's some woods to the south. Some, like, not, not super dense forest, but... There is, like, a bit of a dirt road that you can take that cuts through the woods and pretty much will lead directly to the northern edge of Stonefall. Which will probably cut your travel time to about a day. Wait. You reckon that if you... Uh, you'll have to probably still camp overnight because you're leaving a little later uh, than you would normally leave on travel days. But uh, with camping included, you'll get there roughly like right, right before noon tomorrow if you leave now. Let's start walking then. I Sorry, guess. I'm yep, reading it. Ah, shit. Okay, you read. Reading, reading for nerds. <clears throat> All right. So you start your travel, and you leave Darmouth behind you. Um, I want to get a baby Bjorn for Onu. What? <laughs> isn't that, thing, isn't that did what, this come from? What bookcase is that from IKEA? <laughs> a baby one is a thing where it's like yeah, goes I... on your chest and a baby sits in it. Like a papoose? Like, can you imagine? For a painted or would... dog? Or like a He's a yeah. bit big. A papoose, right? Like... And I'm a bit small. Yeah. Oh. Are you gonna be like that like isn't there the meme in like New York you can carry a dog as long as it fits in a bag? So people just have those like massive IKEA bags and just put just a holes in it. Yeah, like it's, it's just... like, rather than a handbag dog, I've just got a fucking sports bag with No, yeah, no, they get they get, they get those IKEA bags, cut holes for the legs and just like hold the handles. 
<laughs> it's so fucking funny. Fucking hell. Uh, right. Or dogs. <clears throat> Next time I'm summoning Ono, he's gonna be a Papillon, and then I'll be able to carry him in a fucking <laughs> baby gun. Alright. Oh, so you, uh, you all... I have a question. Sure. Um, do I need to be still to do my Kasuma enchantment, or as long as I'm holding the spell scrolls, can I spend an hour while we're walking to siphon them? Because I'm rereading. It doesn't say I have to be, like... Physically I'll, sat still. I'll oh, let you do that, thing. but you have to like really focus on it though. So you probably okay. won't be paying attention to your surroundings as much because you're really like focusing on 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 consuming the enchantment from yeah. the magical item. So my perception will be zero. <laughs> so maybe maybe like have one hand on someone else's shoulder as they kind of like guide you forward while sure. you're hyper focusing on doing that. <clears throat> okay. I'll literally like link my my tail through like like. A Kes, oh, around Kess's wrist or like a belt or something and just uh, like my tail be like a child it'll be like the opposite of one of those monkey like backpacks with the leashes for kids yeah, yeah. how long does it do take that. for you to do that uh one hour per enchantment so I have to do so two, two hours because two scrolls yeah so we'll say that you uh manage to do that and I'll tell the group nobody talk to me I'm busy I like yeah. how you say it's gonna be a lead for Daigon but it's more of a lead for Kess <laughs> yeah um, well, since you managed to do that on your, you know, you start doing that as you as you leave, and two hours later, yeah. boom, that's both items done. Uh, <clears throat> as you start traveling um, towards the evening, you find the woods with like the dirt road that um, Jax no mentioned has a shortcut. And as you um, enter those woods, you suddenly. Wait, who's leading? I guess Jax would be in front because he's like Jax, the one that has theory. the route. Yeah, with like Dabby make a perception or check. Uh, yeah. Or like yeah. both of you make a perception check then. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't even have my dice ready. Jeez. Oh, yeah. lame. It's an hour uh, into the session 10. already, just full of tomfoolery. <laughs> no rolling yet. Don't know what you're talking about. There's no tomfoolery here. No <laughs> oh, wait, I need to roll the never. America's ass. They were the ones that saved me from my fucking. Damn car. straight, baby. Natural 20. Woo, okay. It's good because I rolled a 10. Okay. Um, Jax, all you really notice, because you're, you're going to focus on your map and making sure you're guiding the, the rest of the group the right way, you just smell this like slight burning scent. Oh, smelly smell. Uh, Davian, however, <clears throat> you see in the distance, like down the down the road, this, this group of like six um, people it's all running mm. towards you. Screaming, does. running, and and they don't even look at you or talk to you. They just sprint past you, and before you can even kind of ask yourself the questions like, "What the hell's going on?" You hear three sounds coming faster, fast approaching you. The first sound is a very bestial roar. The second sound is that of a very loud goat. And then the third sound goes paired with flames covering the horizon as oh, this gosh. dragon snarl, as huh? trudging towards you, flying down okay, over the road. Uh, as this I'm large experiencing these things. chimera shows oh, itself it down the road. Yep. As 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 I'm being as I'm perceiving these things, mm -hmm. I would like to stop in my tracks, stop Jax, <clears> push throat> him throat> back and move back with him. Push Brooks in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And just, just so we're, you know, sort of in better stead to actually fight some shit, you know? Because I, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I got the, I'm alert, got the, I heard it. I'm just like, I okay, mean, shit, if... me and Jack should be back. And uh, as it forward, gets closer fucking... and it kind of reveals itself to you, you being the ranger, you've, you've, you've heard, you've seen, you've experienced chimeras before, uh, but this one looks different. This one looks larger oh. than your average chimera and as well ha as the first thing you notice is that in its body you can see these like almost arcane looking runes kind of branded in it that emanates a, a blue uh color and as they were seemingly chasing the group of people that ran past you it now has all three of its heads so the goat head the dragon head and the lion head all focused on you guys and i would like for you to roll initiative so I quickly Yay. swap to the combat oh, scene. Fucking oh, far great. Away. Does anyone have your blessing, Lazarin? Fucking mm, great. Nope. 
I have your blessing. I rolled I rolled a natural 20 <laughs> for the perception. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then I rolled for fun. Just we'll say that. And I rolled a 19. Then I rolled for initiative and I rolled a natural one. I rolled a natural <laughs> one for my initiative too. Yo, Woo-hoo. I'm going first, I think, for once. I don't Yo, that's crazy. Hold on. Uh, so Davin was leading, but Unless you, do you pushed like, Brooks in front. So bad. I forgot to go before DD. I'm so sorry. Hmm? I'm, huh? I pissed so bad. I'll be right back. Okay, sure, man. Um, well, I typed in the chat, chat what I got. I, I okay, typed. Cool. Oh, God. All right. Oh, um, so yeah, initiatives. Let me roll for this thing. Let me fucking put on some battle music. Some battle music. <laughs> 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 we just need Duke no. to cover all the music. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking of that TikTok now that someone sent with the yeah. meme where it's like, and now he's got a professional Pharrell studio he can edit it in too. True. <laughs> all right. uh, initiatives 20 Me. plus. Natural 20. Right. For a total of 18. We're total of 18. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyone else? Got, uh, uh, 20 plus? 22. Okay, hold but on. 80. But not an actual 20. 22. Brooks? Okay. My natural roll was the same as his nat 20 with modifiers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Davian um, pushing Jack's back made him alert, spring into action. Uh, 15 to 20? Anyone? 19. 19. I'm like oh, Hawkins here. Oh, yeah, I need to put him on the map. Uh, oh, that motherfucker's goes... close to us. He has separate oh, yeah. initiative, right? I need to put Thorn on, uh, yes. on the map, so give me a second. Uh, we'll do the initiatives of the others first. Uh, 10 to 15, anyone? 13. 13. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Boom. 5 to 10? 9. Okay. Oh, nice. Uh, wait. Daigon, what did you roll? Four. Ooh. Natural <laughs> one! <laughs> Ooh. Am I correct in saying that this thing's 50 feet away from us? Uh, I believe it's so. It's like 20 feet. No, it's... No, these are big squares. Two. Oh, oh. Each square's 10 foot. Nine tiles, so uh, 45 feet, technically, from, from you where you are, because you're at the front. To get into its melee, or...? Uh, to get in would be, yeah, well, 45 feet to get into the main. 40. Yeah. Fuck. Hold on. Uh, oh, no, it was a dog, yeah? It's just outside yes. of reach. Me too. Oh, hey, you got fucking mobiles. Plus 10, right? Yeah. yeah. Let me quickly add Thorn to the map. And the Hold. first fight, I'm literally five feet out still. Um, you hate to fucking steer, mate. <laughs> well, I could use a spell to get what me there. What was he again? He was like a... You had him like, down as like a... Like a little imp? A, like a... Yeah, 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 that's what he was. But I made him tiny, right? That's how that works. What about Onu? Yeah. Onu's there. Onu's here. Onu's there, yeah. Onu's there. Um, GM He's tools. He's like teeny, teeny tiny. Thorn. Make him... What the one? Shoop. Nope. I need to make him smaller. Sorry. Boop. Aww. <laughs> oh, he's doing a little baby. Boy. That he's little fucking giggle boy. by Belle, by the way. <laughs> make him float now. Yes, enable flying. There you go. Yes. Uh, what did you roll for Thorn's initiative, uh, Bell? Mm, a seven. Before me. Man, Dagger really yeah. is dead last, huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, that's pr- that's pretty perfect, accurate though, for me. because she's the one that like needs. To Only downside is true, yeah. the person I'm most likely to possess is gonna be long gone by my turn, but that's fine. <laughs> All right, that's true. I can do other things. Jack, I, I want to just add, check one thing real quick. Yeah, go for it. If so, when Diagon possesses someone and makes them attack, that's on my turn. That's on her it's turn. Not, it's not her turn. It doesn't it's remove not their, their attack, attack action. No, though, no, 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 no. Because that's no. her own attack no. action. She just uses okay. someone yeah. else to. to yeah. I'm basically like, using I can, you I can as a vehicle. Attack twice, so yeah, yeah, we are just the vessel. Yeah, you're just the vehicle for my attack. You're like my weapon. You like it doesn't get any of your bonuses. It doesn't affect any of your turn economy at all. Can you cast spells mm-hmm. with us? I cannot. No, I was just more curious, okay. like, oh, if I can attack twice, does that mean I can attack twice through Dagon? But no. No. no or else, yeah. So I'm pretty sure won't get my, like, rage bonus to it. No, no, no. Um, all right, Jax. All right. He's 45 feet, huh? Yep. Mm-hmm. Really just put him five feet short of us. 
That's fucked up. So, um, five feet sick. short. All right. I'm going to go five feet in the air and 35 feet forward. Five feet in the air. Hold on. Let me... I'm flying. So you... Um, 30 feet forward? Yeah, 35. 10, 20, 30, 35. Whoop. And then... Fuck, dude. He's probably not too dexy, right? No. I'm going to cast web and out my gauntlet. You just see this little sticky ass web shoot towards it. Yep. Is that a dex save? Uh, it's a dex save, yeah. Oh, 16. we've got a blue Spider-Man. Dex. Dex. Uh, oh, that is a 18. Fucker. Okay. Well, <laughs> I that's cool. That's cool. Um, Let me make sure. I mean, okay, so the webs are difficult terrain, so the area between me and the chimera, oh, I'm and, like, the chimera square. This thing, this thing so it's... Of course. Oh, I mean, it's is a, it it's currently flying? It's it's kind of like hovering. Fuck. You could well, still free it. I wasted that spell. Um, nah, I, this is my bad for not... I mean, I can't, yeah. it's on my turn, Ethan. You can... Uh, I'll let you wreck on that, because I forgot to mention that it was flying. Right? Okay, yeah, I, I didn't realize it could fly because yeah. I was worst case it could only move so far because of okay. Yeah. Um, yep, yeah, I cast my then. Big red dragon. Uh, wings I'm instead. I'll cast mirror image. Okay. Yeah, but he already used the spell. Ah oh, shit! Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why I said I could. Mirror image. It. Um, yeah. So <laughs> you now see three elusive jaxes standing around himself. Okay. Or three, there's, yeah, there's four of me now. Yeah, let me just... There's four. Fuck, I have no idea how to, like, showcase that properly, uh, but... I don't uh, think you can. We just gotta... Yeah, maybe just put, like, a color, like, yeah, green or something. Like a little yeah. blue ring around this uh, thing. Cool. Yeah, because that'll help your mirror mirror as well. <laughs> yep. Um, And then for my bonus action, I'm going to activate my defensive field. Okay. Give myself temporary hit points of eight. All right. Wait, how did you mirror image? What? Oh, because uh, have, uh, Dutch and Red uh, Dutch yeah, you, 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 I learned Red Red on the web. I learned Red 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 on that. He didn't realize it was flying. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't realize it could fly. Yeah. Yeah, web right. doesn't affect flying. Me, me dumb. <laughs> okay. Well, it does if they fail to save, but the whole reason I did it was because he'd have to move through it and then. Yeah. Oh, it can, it, it can fly. Better. Yeah. Uh, is that your turn? Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's my turn. Brooksy boy. Fuck. Can't believe you've done this. I'm still figuring out what <laughs> the best choice is here. Hit him. I he's 45 feet away. If I cool. if I use my action Ooh, to get the wind. if I yeah, but then I can't rage. So I'm gonna if I give up my bonus action to get into melee with him, I'm only gonna get two intacts instead of four. I'm gonna get less damage on it, <laughs> and I'm gonna take more damage. But if you don't get in the melee, then you don't do any damage. So. <laughs> yeah, but the, I mean, is Brooks a damage boy or is Brooks a fucking? Is Brooks a damage boy? He it's asked like... after being a damage boy. Yeah, for the that's past a weird question, bro. No, yeah. no, no, no. Is Brooks a damage boy or is Brooks a take damage boy? Because those are two very different things. Can't you be both? The man asks as he's been doing the damage boy things for the past fifty nine sessions. I have really True. not. Like some of you all hit like trains. Uh, fuck it. I'm gonna do what I think's best. Fuck all of you all. Mm -hmm. Uh, bonus action rage. Uh, main I'm action good. dash so that I can get right up into his fucking face. Okay. Is that your turn? Uh, I believe that is everything I can do. Yes, that is everything I can do. Yes. I'm gonna cast Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blaze. Go for it. What all your attack? Uh, 19. It's for the first one. And... Ooh, 13 for the second. 13 misses. Yeah. 19 uh, hits. 12 points of... Force damage and three thunder. I think it's still three. 
15 points of damage total. It's gone up. Yeah, so you fling an Elder's Blast in its direction, and it kind of just impacts in, in, in its, like, torso, right under where all three of its heads are. And it does kind of, like, uh, take the impact and just kind of, like, flinches back a little bit, but very soon after, immediately focuses again on, on its prey. Anything else? Um... No. Actually, yes. I'm going to use my bonus action to uh, fly. Okay. Uh, and I'm just going to go up, like, 20 feet. 20 feet? So you'll be up there. Hell yeah. Okay. Because I'm flying. And that's it. Because <laughs> we can. Yeah. All right. Okay. So they can fly the fuck away. Elazarin. <laughs> my God, give nice. right I will action use my dome. Okay. The dome comes out, and then I will bonus action steps to the night to start flying. How big is that again? <laughs> uh, the 30 dome, feet mm -hmm. thirty feet radius. It's really just me and Davian that can't fly, huh? Mm -hmm. Like, oh yeah, I'll get, I'll get mine. Yeah. This is this is the dome right now, as of where you are, by the way. It's well, crazy. I'll be I'll be flying. Like, <gasps> they added the new feature! AoE marker! No, let's go! Let's go! Oh, can I just move this? Baby. Can I just move this uh, always? No, you can't. No. Wait, wait, there was a little grabby hand, wasn't there? Edit. Can you make a grabby right? hand? Where's the little, yeah, where's the grabby hand? Grab, Dome! Grab click, click edit, see if you can. Mm. No, no, a uh, grabby hand yeah. on the stick. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, no, 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 no. That makes it bigger. No, uh, on the so stick itself. Uh, on the line. Not the dot, on the line. Wait, uh, no, that's that's oh, that's, no, that's that's fucking uh, okay. just this fucking that's thing. In, in edit mode, can you grab your hand on the line? No, okay. No, no. no. you just have to adjust both different. lines, I guess. Wait. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. I, I oh, there we go. So, I gotta grab the boy. other line. That's the, yeah. that's the mm. trick. Can you do that? Can you grab that back line whilst you're in uh, this mode? In this mode? Can you? It was a. No, I guess go edit. That's go edit mode. That's fine. No, it's the barrier. No, it's the radius. Grab, yeah. It's the radius itself, the not the dot. Uh, or is it the little circle around the dot? I think that's it's, my, it's the circle. It's the circle. Yeah. It's the circle. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fuck anyway, it. We, we, so... It works. Beautiful. We have it. It works, works now. Yeah. Fuck yes. Well, can so I move? I will. Can I move? Uh, like fifteen Hotel feet. Spire. Forward. I so what you'll be like here. Yeah. So what does that do with the dome? It's mainly what I want. It follows you, right? Right there. It's center on you, right? So yes. it'll be there. Brooks is Brooks technically in there? I'd say this I'd count this as Brooks being just outside of it. Just outside? Just out. Yeah. Gotta move another five feet. I'll go five feet forward. Guess is also well, outside of it. Keep that in oh mind. no, never mind. Yeah, I, just, I, I just stay where I am and I'll just go fifteen feet up. Motherfucker. Everyone's flying, dude. Not everyone is flying. <laughs> fifteen Imagine being feet up. Ground, dude. Yep. Is three tiles, so I guess yeah. this it's a it doesn't matter it's still like the, oh no it, it's, it's fifteen feet is one and a half tiles because they're ten foot tiles now right no yeah no 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 but tiles well, in a tile is still five tiles in space is still five by five it still counts it as like the small ones yeah, yeah, yeah. got it so with the with this technically oh dude we're we're learning now boys hold on we're, we're learning. <laughs> Shout out, Tailspire, if you want to sponsor us. Hey. What if we, are we seeing if the dome can fly now? <laughs> yes. There we go. Look at that. Yes. Look at that, oh, baby! Yeah, now, oh. now it's not oh. covering as right. Okay. Look at that. that. <laughs> Dude, this opened up a whole other dimension for us, baby, with this fucking bullshit Literally, dome. Literally, the third dimension has been opened. Literally. Look at that. Oh, man, we've used the dome. And also, we've been using the dome wrong this whole time. <laughs> Well, exposed, oh, well. exposed by oh, 3D. Fuck. I don't know. Exactly. I don't know how geometry works. <laughs> fuck. Um, I need to go to the. Uh, yeah, God. So I have my my protractor. The volume of a sphere. Of a sphere. Yeah. Shut, Shut up. up. The volume of a sphere. <laughs> All right. So anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is that your turn, Quipes? <laughs> that that do be my turn. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It is now the Chimera's oh, turn. I get a uh, temp HP. Lord. You do get temp HP. Oh, of course, cool. the minimum amount. Hey. Yeah, nine. Like eight. It's, yeah, it's, it's, shut the fuck it's up. It's still more than I can do myself. You fuck. All right, the Chimera. Let's have a look. Can I is like fucking stupid ruler? Can I like do a different ruler while this is still there? Oh my god, I can. This is bald racing, boys. <gasps> oh, I don't like this. Wait, you don't need to do this. Man, that's cool. 
Talspire found out that D&D Beyond are making their own version and just went, let's make all the pog <laughs> shit now. <laughs> Um, hey man, co competition is yeah, true. It's good. Whatever. Competition breeds innovation. That's the go. one. It does indeed. Okay. It also breeds money. <laughs> the lion that, head that of the chimera is going to let out a very loud right. roar, oh. uh, which can be heard up to 150 feet away. So I'm pretty sure that's Lordy, all he is. Everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I need that's everyone that's to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, no. Probably includes like Thorn, includes Onu, too. everybody. Okay. Oh, including Onu. So... Yes. So Onu is a creature that can hear it. So. Uh -oh. It's not real good. good. It's a spell, is it? Uh -oh. no. no, it's just, it seems to be like some kind of like innate ability that this thing has. Well, yeah, it's just roaring, bro. Like... Yeah, the lion head just yeah, roars really loud. Just Roar for me, Fuck daddy. DJ <laughs> okay. or Mayhew. Just... I'm just checking if what I was get it? Wisdom. Or not. Wisdom, yeah. Wisdom, yeah. Save, yes. yeah. Yeah, I, I 22 for me. 22. Ooh, fuck it. 20. 20. Oh, it's not good. Yeah. I 16. got a 13. 13. Oh, 16 great. for Onu. Okay. 11. 11. Dirty 20 for Davian. Right. What a thorn roll, Kess? 13. Okay. Those who rolled 15 or lower, uh, you are considered frightened and incapacitated. Oh, and it capacitated. Yeah. Yes. But you can rude. repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turns, but uh, you are for now considered frightened and incapacitated if you roll 15 or lower. Wow. Yeesh. That's... How many of us are good? Me. I'm good. I'm good. I'm also good. Uh, so half. So, so good. Four. I'm no. four. Four. More than half. So I think that is uh, Brooks is incapacitated. I or... swear to fucking God, if it's I'm incapacitated. Two... I swear to fuck, if it's the two people who aren't in the dome right now, I'm going to scream. It is Brooks and Diagon the team. Oh it's my god! The dome Brooks right now. And <laughs> it's almost like we didn't have a chance to get in. Uh, Thorn as well. No, Thorn rolled it? Yeah, Thorn, rolled it. So Thorn is also incapacitated. It's 13. Oh yeah. my Dude, god. It's literally just outside the dome, except for Kess. Yeah. Fuck me. Uh, everyone else made the save, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Opposite of the Stephen King novel, under the dome. <laughs> <laughs> um... And then, oh, it's doing more. That's nice. Oh, good. <laughs> and it, it, do it do have three that. heads. It do be a hybrid. Me no yeah, I did a little war. It just... Yeah, that took out half the group. He just did a little war. A little it's war. like the start of one of those movies. War. As uh, Brooks is considered incapacitated, uh, the ram head is going to just try and bash him with his with his horns. Nice. Which, let me quickly look up the details of incapacity. I'm pretty sure he gets advantage. Lordy, baby. I believe so, yeah. Look. Do In... I need to make like a printout and just hang it on my wall? Yeah. Uh, no, oh, wait, no. It doesn't even give you advantage. It's just you, don't, you can't what? take actions or reactions. That's it. Oh. Wait. It's fr wait. But Frightened it gives it... it... No. No. It, also, it, no. He has disadvantage. Uh, yeah, he has disadvantage. Wait. He would, wait he would, does yeah. incapacity end rage? Um, no, I will have to check. That's a, that's a that's a thin check for that. So it's I still just a straight roll to attack you. Feeling. If you're knocked unconscious or if your turn ends without, yeah, we're about so technically oh, okay. Not. I, could, I could I could remember if it said turn unconscious or if you're rendered yeah. incapacitated. Uh, so if he didn't take uh, damage this turn, say so 17 then. to hit Brooks. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, that hits. Okay. Just. Um, you take as the ram head just fucking boof, bashes into you. Oof. Uh, you take... Wait, what was it to hit? 17. 17. Do, do, yeah, go ahead. Do, 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 do. Where's my... There's, there's fucking 23 AC out um, there. Disgusting. You take 16 well, points of bludgeoning right damage, now. half to 8, because eight. you're still raging. Uh, Well, I need you to make a strength saving throw, because you're frightened and incapacitated. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure inc does incapacitate auto-fail. No, it just means you can't take actions or reactions. So you can still roll, but you have disadvantage. Why do I have disadvantage? Uh, wait, no. No, it's still, even though you're incapacitated and, and afraid, your strength save is just as normal. So make a strength save. Yes. Yeah. With advantage because I'm raging. Sure. Yeah. Damn. Uh, so that is a 27. Okay, yeah, you're good. You are not knocked prone. Cool. That's good. Um, the one save I'm good at. The dragon part of the chimera. 
All three heads get to go. Ew. I mean, they're like semi-separate entities. Can I get two heads stapled into my body and get three turns? This is basically like, this is just this creature's version of a multi-attack, right? Like each yeah. each yeah, yeah. part yeah. of it does a thing. We're um, just complaining. Don't worry about us. It's going to try and rake you with its claws. So the dragon claw just swipes across your chest. Uh, Brooks, you're the only one in direct melee with it, so I don't really have a lot of choice. Well, that's a natural 19. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, something. I'm going to silvery barbs. Okay. Uh, and that would make it a, a natural 18. <laughs> wow. Fuck. Well, you give an advantage, though. Huh? Uh, ooh, uh, actually, I'm going to give advantage to... To who? Give it to someone who needs uh, it. I don't know who Give needs it to Daigon, because if, if her body gets damaged in this, it's... Daigon is too far for me to give it to her. Oh, fuck. Mm. Yeah. I think Daigon guy's pretty cool. He's all right. Um, I believe you're also <laughs> too far, so I'm going to give it to myself. Yo, Lazarus Oh my god, god, this guy. Oh, he's cool. gonna Lazarus right there, okay. dude. Uh, oh, man. Brooks, you take 14 half to 7 points of slashing damage from the claw. And that is the... Well, no, actually. The Chimera is going to then use his movement. Because Brooks oh, can't no. take reactions. Because no, no. I'm incapacitated. <sighs> yeah. To go uppies. Nope. Just outside of uh, Jax's like, range. So he can fly over Jax. No. No. Stay shit. away. Fly Stay in, away. Fly into the dome. And then suddenly spots a cleric. And just decides to stop right there. Snack. So it's just in your face now, uh, Lazarin. And that I mean, is going to be its turn. I cannot. Hit so, it. because it's yeah. a creature inside the dome, uh, no. <laughs> that was good. there's no way that works like that. <laughs> uh, it literally is a creature's inside the dome. But <laughs> okay. Not even friendly? Nope. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Yo, I'm pretty give it 10 sure. HP, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I, 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 believe, I believe it's creatures of my choice. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, okay. There uh, we go. Okay, okay. That would have uh, been so shit. So, let's choose it. Okay, okay. okay. Whenever a creature, including you, enters its turn sphere, you can grant the creature you on the yeah. Okay, okay, I was gonna say. So yeah. Elizarin gives it 12 points of temporary. Yeah, so it gets... <laughs> no, well, I mean, the thing would be, like, if something's charmed or frightened, I don't want to be charmed or frightened, right? That's, like, mm -hmm. an enemy, for example. It's like, oh shit, this is oh. fucking us. Like, yeah. if something's charmed by oh, someone no. else... What you're saying is, like if, an... you'd, if you'd moved forward and put us in the dome, you could have got rid of this for us. No. On your, not on on your turn. Just, just the frame. I mean, also, you for not... you, he needs to move forward. For me, he needs to move backwards. I'm just like, trying to make either way. Like like, Ethan, guys. Ethan, did you not understand the moment when I went, oh, who's outside the dome? The two fuckers who just got thingied by this. Did you not hear yeah. that? You not hear when I said that? And already have that? Okay. Anyways, Davian. Davian! You're up. Guys, stop bickering. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Uh, ba 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 ba. Bonus action. I'm gonna cast Hunter's Mark. Okay. Hunter's Mark. A nice purple color for now. And then I'm gonna... Fucking we should make that. a list of what the colors mean and like pin it in the Discord. I, did, I just so do it on the fly. Ones. I just do yeah. it on the fly. I, I'll, I'll make one this week. Because then that Come way we'll remember, it'll be easier for everyone else to... Okay, can you just make some up for us? That's what I was gonna like... do. First one is a magenta is... to hit. Misses. They're not, even, they're not even DD conditions. Next one is <laughs> a 21 to hit. Ooh. That does hit. That's good. That's pretty good. I'm actually going to roll damage with some of these fancy ass dice. Go on. Oh, that's the 15. Oh, wait, can I also pump in a fucking psh, elemental fucking doodah? Yeah, if you can decide yeah. to do that after you hit, yeah. Okay, well, then that's 15 points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to decide before? Well, yeah, when when the hit hits, uh, then I have to be like, mm, I'd like to, you know, uh. so whatever. 15 points of, wait, it's from my magic. I mean, if you battle. if you can decide to do that after you know whether you hit or not, you can always just, yeah, yeah. No, oh, yeah, fine. yeah, it's, it's, yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah, okay. I thought you meant because I'd rolled damage already. I couldn't. No, no, right. no. Then... Because most of the time, those also things are five like... five points of fire damage. That helps. Most of those, like, add shit to attacks is, like, after you roll, but before it's you know the same it's or not. Yeah. How much did you roll, sorry? 
when you hit a creature. Uh, so 15 points of magical piercing damage and 5 points of fire damage. Okay. You can see that the fire damage, like, affects the, like, goat and lion part of this creature, but the dragon part doesn't really seem too bothered by it. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, I will... This thing's fucking flying. Onu's just, like... Can Onu run behind a tree just for the time being? Oh, uh, yeah. Which one? Uh, just... It's the one that's, like, in the edge of the dome, so down and right of him. Sorry. So like, like, here? Yeah, 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 a little bit more around, just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's just... He's, he's hiding. Okay. He's not technically hiding, but, you know. Where did... Uh, and I where will... Did, where did everything go? Where did... What it... the fuck? Hello? Uh, what? Uh, uh, what were Reggie? Undo. Huh? Control oh. me. <laughs> oh, no, it's his line, it's Onu's line of sight, I think. There's no. Is that it is Onu's line of sight. What? Yeah, so okay. cool. That's so cool. That's you sick. Can, what the hell? Can, okay. Can, so this is what Onu see. That dude. I didn't know that was a That's thing. Dope. That's crazy. That's, That's insane, dude. <laughs> so this is um, what Onu sees. Let the tell find it. Poggers I don't know. <laughs> Here it is. Did you have an update on Steam or whatever? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Dying Dying is updates. Kind of. Oh, kind of like shitting bricks right behind me. Right. So. Yes. Yeah. I will just move. That's nuts. As, right. as between Diagon and the Chim Chimera as I can be. Like, I know I'm already pretty You're much there. Like, I'm already pretty yeah. much there, yeah. there, so. Yeah. We'll say that Diagon is, like, for the sake of, like, squares is there, and then you can yeah. be, like, here, just As long as I'm here, enough in the dome, the dome to get that extra yeah. juicy HP. Yeah. Okay. Elazarin! You get 12 temporary hit points. Spicy. All right. All right, beautiful. That's my turn. Thorn is incapacitated, but gets a chance to roll another wisdom save, uh, Bell. Come on, baby. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Okay. That is that was done. Big means no money. <laughs> that was three. Yeah, no. Uh, Daigon, same goes for you. Make another wisdom save. I have a question, though. Incapacitated says can't take actions or reactions, but I can move still. I just can't do anything, but uh, Yeah, but it's also combined with being frightened, so you were also... Frightened just means I can't move towards, towards the creature. It, yeah, could... so you can only move the other way. Okay. So you can circle would... around the dome, basically. Well, I want to go behind um, the tree even further from <laughs> Onu. The one back right, I want to get behind that tree, because also my body be squishy. Uh, oh, and then see. Roll, make my save. Make my save, That's crazy. I guess. All right, yeah. Oh, okay. That's nuts. It's a wisdom save? Wisdom save, yes. <laughs> 15? Ew, that is just not enough, unfortunately. Ah, you are still okay. scared and incapacitated. At least, I, so I'm literally just hiding behind a tree right now, thinking, oh my god, it, if it touches me, I'm, I'm boned. If it touches me, I'm boned. Oh I'm yeah, because you're in fucking out. Diagon's body as well. I'm in my body, so I'm panicking. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna panic. Uh, back... Which sucks, because I, I was going to like enchant Davian's bow with cool shit, weird. and now All I right. can't. Uh, at the top of the turn, the Chimera is going to, before Jax has a, has a turn, going to take a reaction to Mother. Tail Slam Elasrin. Oh, really? That's kind of fucking rich. You can notice that as the tail swings towards you, <laughs> what you thought was a dragon tail is, is, is a little tail. more than that. There's these, like, protruding spikes coming out of it, and as it slams into you, the spikes break off and just jut into your body. That is, yeah, that is a natural 17 plus 6, 23 to hit. Misses. Oh, crazy. This is technically before my turn? This is before your turn, yeah. Shit. I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. It doesn't change the result, but I'd just like to know, is this technically a melee attack, or is it technically a projectile? Just out of... This is a melee attack. Ah, uh, just want to use my shield. <laughs> no, this is a... Uh, a melee attack. He swings, uh, but as his yeah. tail slams into you, you can see the four spikes that are protruding from it all break off and just stab into you, and uh, you take... That doesn't sound healthy to be in my body. I'll be real. Mm. <sighs> you take... Pretty healthy to me. Four, you take nine points of piercing damage per tail spike, and it's used all four. So nine, 18, 27, 36, 36. points of piercing damage. Oh, no. That's rage. <laughs> that boy is so low. <laughs> As uh, all four uh, of the tail spikes, they do break off, and they're just stuck oh. inside of you. Oh, you're a that's... porcupine. Inverse Soup porcupine. is a nice block. <laughs> Guys, it's super healthy to have random animal parts. 
super healthy. I mean, as long as they're there, they're stopping the bleeding. Uh, yeah, it's true. Get immediately get attention. That's dangerous. Uh, Even better Josh. than get in. You're yeah. right. <laughs> Unless you want to bleed out, pull them like sponge. What would you like to do? Uh, uh, yeah. So apparently with um silvery barbs, I could have given it to anyone that's within sixty feet, because that's the range of the spell, but I'm dumb. Lose so. Well you you make is, of it. <laughs> Um so now I'm gonna go fly up behind him. So I'm flanking with Lazarin, because now it won't matter that I gave myself advantage anyways. Uh, yeah. So you use what Oh amazing. So not only did you waste it, you uh, wasted it. Cool. Any, anyone got any more of those? Yeah, it's things? almost like uh, yeah. someone else in the party that some fucking aerial battle going um, on right here. Dude. This is crazy. We're dog fighting. <laughs> <laughs> like the fucking Omni Man in Invincible uh, right now. Do you need to roll concentration on anything, Koiba? Uh, what? Do you need to roll concentration on anything? Nope. Dome's not concentration. Don't think so. The dome is just, just the dome straight up not just this. Kind of wild. Dome's crazy. That's fair. Yeah. Every, <laughs> um, I mean, it's, it, it used to be a D8 before yeah, uh, it got released. Before dashes. It was a D8. Does it go <laughs> up? I know your bonus goes up by your level, isn't it? No, no, no. It's based on my level. The right. dice? So the die? It's it, no, no, it's D6 yeah. plus my level. Plus yeah, level. right. That's what yeah. I'm saying. So like, instead of the die yeah. growing, it's the bonus. Yeah. It just gets higher as you Yeah, but, it, yeah, but like, when this was released, it was 21 to 26. It, it was a D8 before. It was that's, a D8 before. Nice. It's crazy. It was ridiculous. These yeah. six are still insane, to be fair. Uh, because it adds to your plus level. the levels way more. Yeah. Uh, Jax, yeah. you're um, trying to uh, yeah. bop it? So, yeah, I'm a, a you know, tag us back a little bit my gauntlets, you know? Cool, man. A little one, two. He's been watching Creator Clash. <laughs> <laughs> Jax Let's is see. a content creator. Um, so the first one is a, damn, I wish I crit on 19, so that would be super nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, 27 to hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the second one is a 25 to hit. Both hit? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, it also now has disadvantage on any attacks against anyone that's not me. Okay. So, there's that. What am I looking for? D8s? D8s. Ew, not the best. A three and a four. That's seven plus... Yeah. So that's 17 points of thunder damage. Thunder <laughs> damage. Bless you. Yeah. All right. So you just get behind it and poof, poof, with both of your gauntlets. And you can see it kind of just like one of the head, like the dragon head kind of turns around and snaps at you. But then it immediately turns its head back to focus on, uh, on a Lazarin in front of him. Oh, I tried. Um... <laughs> It's fine. Don't worry about it. I got a plan. Uh, what bonus action spells do I have? Because I don't think I have like any that actually help. To know me. Um. Nope. That one transports me. Nope. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's my turn. All right. <laughs> Brooks, make a wisdom oh, save. Temp HP. Um. We'll see how this goes. Koba, what uh, temp HP did Jack's get? Ooh. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I'm always right. Uh, he got 14. Jesus. Oh, golly. He got max. Uh, I rolled a dirty 20. On you are. This is the end of your turn, but you are no longer affected by the incapacitation Yay! or the frighten. This Yay! is the end of my turn? This is the end of your turn, yeah. correct. Let me just double check something. You have to use your whole turn to recover. He's trying to figure out or some move. way to have something to do something. <laughs> Okay, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm it's fine. More, I think it was more about the rage dropping or not, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Still yeah. Raging if, because I've been attacked. Yeah, because you got attacked that turn. Ethan, if yeah. you have questions about rage, just ask and I'll let you know because I'll keep track of that shit for uh, you. Yeah, but also I don't trust you. It's fucked I up. only played a barbarian for two years, dude. <laughs> wait, yes. wait, 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 wait. Before, oh, sorry. The wisdom save, was that against the frightened or the incapacitated? Both. 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 It's the same oh. effect. It's, yeah, just but the I effect But I can still move. As part of my t I make the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. No, it's end of, it's, if oh, you wanted to move, you could before. Yeah. But you, you can't have to move because you're frightened, frightened while I'm moving. Yes. You are frightened. Yes. Well, I can't move yeah. any closer. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Right. How much movement would it take to circle around without getting closer to the other side of everyone? Motherfucker. Do we 
have to do this? Dude, why? Yes. Can you just end your turn? Shut the fuck up. I didn't whinge on your turn. Uh, 10, 15, I... 20. Shot the thing and that was it. 25, oh, it's 30. Gonna be too much. Like, it's going to be, yeah. Like, because it's kind of central, it's going to be very hard. Because you have to basically, okay. you have to basically skirt, like, around the trees to, to not get closer to them. Then I'll just fucking stay there. Okay. Yeah, you might like well just wait and save the time and go in a straight line next yeah. time. Then I, mean, I still can't get him. He's in the air. Well, just through lying. that, yeah. Kes! As you're kind I'm of, like, teetering to... just inside, outside of the dome, by the way. Look at that. I'm yeah. bonus action hex. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to hit it with Eldritch Blast. Can only give one color, so you know, purple means <laughs> hex Hexed and disadvantage. <clears throat> I will say, Kess, that if you want to the benefit of the dome, uh, you'll have to move forward at least five feet. Just to keep that in mind. Okay. Because like right now you're, I'd say you're just outside of it. Cool, nineteen to it's, hit it. Yep. Uh. Eight force damage. Eight force damage. This this blast just impacts the lion head and it just lets out this this loud roar. <laughs> While the other heads are still very focused on a nice elasmin sized meal in front of it. Uh six necrotic. Six necrotic, okay. And three mm. thunder. And I get another Eldritch Blast, don't I? Like that doesn't I believe so, yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, like, like it, it, that doesn't right? get, in fact, like, that's not a bonus action. That's just No, that's like just a... part of your Elder's Blast cast. It's like part of your attack action. Yeah. Awesome. You get two beams. That is a dirty 20. Dirty 20 also hits. Dirty. Nine force damage. Nine force. Uh, can I do that twice? Yeah. Is that it? And five necrotic. Okay. And three thunder. This uh, this second beam instead of the the no, hold on. The lion just slams into the goat so you can see that like one of the two horns kind of like crack from the impact. Uh and can I move yes. down and in front of Thorn? You wanna go all the way down? Uh, I'll hover. So... But just in front of him. Well, so you're going down... 15 feet, I guess? Or, like, you want to be ground, but just hovering? Uh, like... 15 feet. So you'll be here. Move forward. Like this, so you're in the dome as well. I'm in front of Thorn. And that's... That's it. Okay. You get 14 temp HP. Damn! He'd be rolling good. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I rolled one for myself and six for the other people, so I mean, um, we we're all <laughs> really rolling great. Uh, Lazarin, at the start of your turn, yeah, like, the spikes it. that are inside of your body mm -hmm. begin to crumble. Okay. And you can see them reappear on the Chimera's tail. Oh! Great. At least it's not doing damage to me, that's all I give a shit no. about. <laughs> cool. I cast Banishment on it. <clears throat> oh, right. Excuse me? Make a Christmas, make a Christmas saving throw, please. Oh. Excuse me? I go, get away! Get, get away! away. <laughs> he accidentally banishes what? it to the Feywild in Kess's, like, mom's house. <laughs> Man, you can't make this up. A natural 20. Oh, um, oh, oh, barbs, oh, motherfucker. Oh, 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 oh. This man's about to roll an 18 and I'm going to kill myself. He's about to roll another nat 20. In game. It's going to be a 19. It's insane. He's going to roll a 19. Eight. Let's Jeez. go. I'm going to hear. Okay. Bage, is, is, the, is the material plane his home plane? Um, Would you know that? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, as a spell, if it's, no, 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 if it's, no, 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 no. Would you know that? It doesn't matter. If I, I cast banish, no. If I cast banishment, 
it goes to a it demi, just goes, it goes to, to a demi play, home yeah, or goes to his home you, as the caster know where it goes, and it doesn't need to. It's going to come back. No, but, no, it's not the question that needs to. We're just curious. That's not what he's wondering. Also, it's also, also, it's also it's it's not going to know whether or not it's going to come back in a minute. We'll, well find um, out. No, we'll, we'll find out. I think I know where it is, roughly, right? Like I I'm know. Gonna, I'm do. whipping out the spell now. Relax, guys. Calm down. Let me do the DMing, but you guys just sit there and. It's a valid question, no? I mean, yeah, that makes. I sorry, I misunderstood what you were asking, Ethan. Sorry. Oh my god. Yeah, so if the target is, is native to the plane position you're on, you banish the target to a harmless demiplane. Incapacitated uh, remains until the spell ends. And the spell lasts. Concentration up to a minute. Um, let's find out. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't even know where it's going. Like, where did the mirrors come from? I mean, or is it like... I I have a thing I probably don't know where it goes. Like, that doesn't say that I know the plane it's now on. Chimeras, dude, I'm getting the whole breakdown here. Chimeras are native to this plane All because right, Chimeras were created after mortal summoned Demogorgon to the material plane and it oh. created Chimeras on this plane. So that's, they're native to the material plane. Yeah, That's kind of dope. So it does, I mean, it does, it does disappear. I'll make it invisible for now, I guess, but it does disappear. Yeah. Uh, just hide it for now. It is gone. Does that affect the frightened incapacitated? Uh, less... we'll say that that drops. Okay. Because it's um, you know, whatever. Actually, uh, no, 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 no. That effect stays. That affects. Okay. You just have like okay. nine I mean, times you're... to save from it now, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, also, yeah. also like your. We shouldn't. You can frighten. Your thing of source fright is no longer there, so you can move in. Yeah, you can move in but now just, because the source is not there. Yeah. So scared. Next okay. turn, you move in, you lose the frighten. Is all that's yeah. going to happen because you're in the yeah. dome. <clears throat> Yo, everyone, let me just roll like nine worth of the dome real quick. Hang on, everyone's so going to have we'll say, yeah, we'll, Woo! <laughs> we'll say that you're out of initiative for now. So, is there anything you guys want to do? Like this, this thing you all saw, this thing just disappear. What do you guys want to do? Well, we'll say that I will... leave the initiative for this for now. We'll keep the order up for. If and when um, it does uh, come back. I mean, I will continue of initiative. my turn in the sense of just like, I'll say, I'll say to the group, don't know how long it's going to be going for. I don't know where crime, I don't know where they're from. <laughs> like, would do I know? I know where Chimeras Actually, come from? Yeah, would any of us know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> would I know? Oh, da yeah, no, Devian, make a, Devian, Devian, make Devian a history check. You'll have studied history. weird creatures and stuff. Uh, Can we make, make, an, a, make a nature check. Nature? Nature, 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 nature. Yeah, okay. You'll have studied these things, so like just like weird creatures. Uh, that Fifteen. Uh, you do know that Chimera in general are native to the material plane. You don't know about this one specifically, but as in general, Chimera are native to the material. Mm. Chimera in general are native to the material plane. Oh, so that will be back in a minute. So uh, if you guys got, hearing... got any setup. Hearing that, I'm, I, 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 cause I'm still, ter I'm still frightened. I can yes. move because it's not here, so Correct. I don't have to. I, I'm gonna. I can't do actions or anything, but Correct. possessing people and leaving my body is a bonus action. And incapacitated specifically says action or reaction. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, you can take a bonus action. So I'm gonna like, l like curl up in a fetal position and then leave my body. So my body's hiding behind the tree. Yeah, so where your body's still there. Yeah, okay. And then I'm gonna just run to Brooks and try and possess him because I am terrified and want to not be in my squishy body. Yeah. Brooks, you want to run into the dome while you're uh, while you're at it? I will run into the dome. Go, cool, you're like a part of. Do you I'm want me gonna... to roll some temp HP for, I, for the people? I, 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 I have max, so I'm good. Nah, hold, on. hold on, hold on, Brooks. What do you want to do? One at a time. I, I was going to say, I don't know if bonus actions count as an action, but we can figure it out later. Like uh, They do count as an action. Oh, I think when it okay. says you oh, really? can't take actions okay, or reactions. That's oh, that's fair. Bonus, bonus action. action is a part of that. Okay, well, then if you I'm run just into the sitting dome. behind the tree, mm -hmm. and I'm curled up in the fetal position and scared. Well, you can make like 10 saves, right? Yeah, yeah. If you want to just roll a couple saves, you're fine. Yeah. Okay. Just roll one until you save above. 60 I know, I know, Koi, I know, Koiba, but like RP over this, like Dagon is scared and, and in panic. Yeah, right. But First Dagon one... also knows the dome gets frightened. We've done this before. Yeah, but it won't stay. get rid of incapacitated. 
Officer. And I can't. That's the one stopping her from using actions. The dome only You're gets true. rid of frightened. Yeah. yeah. You're true. You know what? So I'm staying there. So that. I rolled my first save it. and it yep. fails because it was a four. Mm -hmm. Second one was a 12, which is 12 total. Which is not going to excite you that before. Mm -hmm. That's not going to do it either. That's not going to do it either. Okay. Natural, natural 18 plus three. 21. Okay. There you go. Okay. Boom. Go. <laughs> I have lost my rage at this point because yes. I have not attacked or yeah. been attacked. Dagon, uh, you want to go anywhere, Dagon? Uh, well, now, once I shake it off, I take a minute to just panic and I breathe and I shake it off. I'm going to leave my, I'm going to leave the body there. Okay. And I'm going to run over to Brooks and go, would, would would you like, would you like an assist when it comes back? Actually. Just make a wait. choice. If you want to be in here, be in here. Actually, wait, I, I, I go over to Davian and said like, Davian, I know we haven't done this before, but I, I think I can help if you let me piggyback when it comes back. Yeah, by, by by all means. Okay, and I will so... possess Daddy. <laughs> can I well, hide? Yeah, you can. You can try because... and like I don't know, get take over so some the, trees. So the or... tree um just north of Elazrin, that's mm -hmm. in the dome. I want to hide behind that tree. I'll be honest with you. I'm gonna be. Stealth. I'm not sure. I'm gonna move in the dome in a second because I'm moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, when when Elazrin's move, we'll, we'll we'll figure it out then. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah, when, okay. getting onto the fucking ground and I'm moving like 30 feet back. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah, out. That's gonna take me. Oh, okay, okay. Then I'll, I'll go 30. to the same tree as Onu. Well, the fucking big man was just in my face and I'm like, yeah. This. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. There. Look at I'm that. Good. Look at that. God. Uh, I do love that so, so, where do you want to go then, Davian? Same, same tree as Onu. Oh, no, it was this one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, there. and then, like, can I just make, like, a stealth check? Make a stealth check, check yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of yeah. We'll say oh, that oh, uh, good. by the time, you know, Thorn is also no longer incapacitated because I'm pretty sure the effect lasts a minute and the thing comes back I mean, after a minute, so, like, who cares? Oh, true. Here's the thing is that I can end it early as well. So if there's, yeah. like, if before a minute is up, we feel we are ready to go. No one has like any actions to prepare for like this shift when it comes back to the shooting. Yeah, I mean, this is all you guys. Actions. If you guys want to. Uh, I was going to say, either yeah, we wait the whole time or don't. I just need to know because I... my thing ends in eight turns from when you decide. So my, my, my dome ends after a minute as well. So that's what I'm saying. Like, okay. if anyone has anything to prepare, like prepare that, like do it now. Nope. And are we saying this is an action or like, are we waiting? It's you. For the sake of sanity, mm -hmm. yeah. rather than fucking sitting in the dome until I get a decent fucking temp HP roll, mm -hmm. can just I take take, max. can I just take, no, can I just take the first roll and then fuck off out the dome? Oh. Yep. To be roll. under where Elazrin was. Uh, so you got... that if the Chimera were to fall, it wouldn't land on me. Okay. Uh, let me roll for myself real quick first. I got a 12. I'm just gonna do the same for you. Uh, you, you got max. Okay, which is... Right here. 14. 14. 14. Fog. Okay. I got a 22 on stealth, by the way. Does Good. anybody else need 10 HP rolls? Because I'll just quickly just roll that it, out. If Davian's in the dome and getting them, then I would also get them, since I'm oh with my, Davian. What is my D6 yeah. rolls, by the way? I've just rolled another 6. Okay. So that's 14. Anyone Versus else? For me? Yeah, for you. Who else wants one? Oh. I just rolled like 3d6 for the, the mouse. I, I already Actually. have Max, so I'm good. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, Do you want to go anywhere, Jax, by the way? Does anybody no. not have Max right now? I don't have Max. Thorn. Uh, uh, <laughs> Davi, you have Max. Thorn has uh, oh. 13. There you go. I have Max. Nice. As a um, point of order. Yes. When a Lazarin ends this spell, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is it then immediately going to be the Chimera's turn? Yes. Yes. Okay. Could we potentially we'll hold actions for it? And it appears. Yeah. 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 The thing is, the more you guys want to cram in, the more time the we'll spend. Likelier. And like the dome will eventually. If you're all also going to prepare action shit, I'm going to say it takes a full minute and then the dome just fucking drops. So, do, so, so if we have if we're prepare actions, actions equals no dome during the rest of the fights. No preparing actions equals a bit of dome for the least. A I don't need to prepare. I, mean, I would like to so. rage when he says he's gonna drop it, but if if we're gonna yeah. be realistically in combat I mean, order when he drops it, I have then nothing it's like it. So that's it's one of those weird drops. ones. So I've got nothing to compare that doesn't drop the dome. You know what I mean? I like, <laughs> I just want uh to. 
uh, cast mage armor on myself. Yeah, okay. Can I cast, I... Can I cast cure wounds that. on myself during this time as well? Can I cast what? Quick. Cure wounds. Sure. Just and I want... What you guys all want to do the less time um, uh, you'll have. And I just okay. want me and Thorn to move. Uh, I want to take half cover, like, in the upper branches of, like, uh, that tree. I, I, I game back... Yeah, and Thorn to, like, pretty much hide in there. Uh, I game back 17 health, uh, Dutch, and that's all I want to do. Okay. I'm going to recast Mirror Image since it's probably going to end up dropping anyways. What? Okay. Is it... How long does Mirror Image It only lasts a minute. No, it, it, it will we'll be back. How many turns are we saying if we, like, get it, it, it back now? It would have been eight, for, eight from when he disappeared. I'll Wait, say that... Eight turns? Is when it, because, well, the thing eight is, turns it's been two turns Guys, in she, combat, she, and then he disappeared. Okay. For now, uh, the amount of turns spent, I'll say that roughly three turns have passed with all the shit that you've been doing, and... I, I have an objection to that. Go on. Okay. How many turns have spent... How many saves did Diagon roll? I rolled. Because Diagon oh. rolled at least four. True. I rolled which five. Is four turns. So five, five turns. So five, five turns has passed. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Yeah, no, that's okay. fair. Five turns have passed. Okay. So uh, you're turn about halfway. Recast. You have thirty. You have thirty seconds realistically until this thing comes back. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The only thing I want to do is. Is it so? Dutch. Is it reasonable for me, like, in terms of coherent combat order? To be able to rage when he says he's going to bring it back, or is that because I can't hold a rage as an action? Mm -hmm. Uh, sure. Okay, so I would like to rage when the chimera. Yeah, comes that's, back. Fine. That's, yeah fine. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. I'm dropping it. If no one has anything to do, that's when I'll. That's when I drop. Do you want to move anywhere, Soko, or, or is Jax good where he is? No, I I want to just ready to hit it as soon as it drops in. I can. Uh, you haven't really done that much otherwise. Yeah, sure. Fuck it. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. Okay. Any okay. object? Anyone? Any, anyone objects? Anyone good? We all good? No, all good. Yeah. All good. All good. The other bids, okay. Last bids. Last bids. So five turns used. Yeah. Five turns used. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. So Just so I can and down on my, uh, we'll say that you get ready. You 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 announce that you're dropping the banishment. Yep. Brooks can rage. Chimera's back. <laughs> Appears right where it disappeared. It looks around. <laughs> It's a bit confused. It's a bit discombobulated, but then sees you all ahead of him. Looks down, sees Brooks, looks behind him. Like one of the heads turns around behind and sees Jax, and it's just kind of like snaps out of it real quick. Uh, Jax, if you want to attack it, like give it a bop real quick before it's turn, do it now. Yep, yep. Oh my god, a fucking, fucking natural 20. Let's go. Um, <laughs> it's gone. Just the one hit, correct? Uh, Yeah. Just a reaction, just a yeah. quick. I, I just, yeah. Just wanted to check. Yeah. Banishment makes this um, so much more chaotic. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Jesus fuck. Well, I was I half mean, hoping it would just made disappear. Us go in term order. It would take longer. But... Yeah, but that takes like we would have spent like an hour all yeah. doing all that shit. You know what um, I mean? It's... So that's a yeah. total of eight plus five plus five, so eighteen. Points of thunder damage. Eighteen points of thunder damage. Did you like you know you give yourself max damage plus another yeah, dice yeah, roll? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yep, yep. All right. Uh, beautiful. And right. it has disadvantage to hit anyone except for me till my next turn. All right. So it is now the Chimera's turn. It, uh, it looks around. Uh, it's a bit discombobulated. It's a bit, a bit confused. But <laughs> first I need to see, because I need to roll a d6 to see if the lion head gets his roar back. Which it doesn't. You better not. I'll cry. Oof. Thank you. <laughs> so the lion head, the chimera turns around so that the lion head can go for a what's it called? Juicy checks. What'd you say? <laughs> I said for a juicy jacks. A lion's bite against uh, jacks. Okay. Which is a twenty-two to hit. Dude, that actually just is my AC right now because I had to drop my shield. AC. Uh, you have mirror image um, up though, so it might, it might miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's just another roll on mirror it. Mirror image, yeah. Uh, mirror image. I have to roll for the first one is... Oh, its AC is 10 plus my dex, so 8. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll never not hit the mirror image. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um, the question is, does it actually hit the duplicate? I should have to roll a 6 or higher, which I did roll a 7, so... 
It does hit the damage. Yeah, so one and duplicate disappears. Yep, yep. Um, the goat head. Kind of so, goat head. Kind of. It's kinda gonna eat my whole fucking mirror image in one turn. Uh, no. Because it doesn't want to run away. That would be. I'm trying to calculate lines right now, dude. Uh, you've already used your reaction to pop it, so it's gonna just go down. Eight tiles? Went, eight, 40, no. Eight times five, 40, right? 40, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, yep. What's the distance it says? Yeah, 40. It says 40 feet. Okay, so it will, yeah. Uh, the goat's head begins gurgling and just spits. And this, like, viscous green liquid comes out of the goat's mouth. And I need both Elazarin and Brooks to make constitution saving throws. Can we get this as a pet? Constitution. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I want to take this home. What size is the Fuck. chimera, real quick? The chimera Large. is considered... Um, oh, actually. I think I have, I have it set to large, but it's technically huge. Hold on. Huge. Oh, really? It's Fuck. huge! There we go. Oh! It's huge. Oh. We can keep it. We can keep it at large. It's huge. <laughs> there go. It can still tickle my toes. <laughs> it's a 15 by 15 feet banger. Do we have any more? You know, I know it's not, but I'm going to ask anyway. This isn't a spell, is it? Nope. It's not a charm effect, is it? Nope. <laughs> or it's not okay. it's just... It is a roll the save or be taking poison damage kind, sure kind it's of not a? Are you sure it's not a deck save? I am very... Con like, this thing here says constitution, so I'm assuming it's not a typo, huh. yeah. Con's probably better for you, Are though. you sure? Not when I roll a two! No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I know English is your, like, your second language. Oh, it's true, yeah. I do, I do. It's not my, my, my native language. You're right. Maybe, yeah, go yeah. on. It's a dexterity constitution. It might look a little sane. <laughs> dexterity. I sure, I know. Actually, okay. are you 100% sure? Can we stop sure? goading him when he's about to kill you, buddy? I'm pretty I, sure the word constitution wisdom, right? is longer oh, okay, than wisdom. Good. Therefore, if the word here is constitution. Is it long? Cool. Just uh, more I than to more than six letters, definitely. Cool. Yeah, so this is the three. He measured the letters. I have I have a quick just little thing. <laughs> I hate. I assume it. a three. I assume a three doesn't save. No, it does not. Finish. Cool. <laughs> the uh, the DC is a, a double. Like it's it's two numbers. So therefore, I think anything under. Oh, 10, you know what, what about what about a uh, luckily seven? numbers are the same in most languages. So. <laughs> True. What about a seven? No. So you both fail. Got it. Oh, cool. <laughs> Jesus fucking. I have a plus five. Buddy. Now we're not playing like a weird new table to watch you where low number wins. Let the bit die, Koiba! No! <laughs> <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at, it's killing a bit off by doing it too long. Fucking yes. Man. What the fuck, Laura? <laughs> <laughs> Exhibit A, Koiba's thing. We've literally now given up on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had, we had Koiba's bit written in the script, so. Right, so <laughs> those two oh God, in that so in that line. <laughs> Deep cut. Uh, you all take. You all, the two of us. Just the two of us. 35 we, points of poison damage. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm raging, so no. I genuinely think a lesson probably vomits. Wait, does rage impact poison damage? Him. If yep, he's bad. Everything that's not fucking psychic. Psychic. No. He's bad for the bear. Oh, oh, you're cheating. Right, got it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So all right, fair enough. The, the, Yo, canonically, a lesson vomits when he gets points? hit by that poison damage smiley face because of how much it was. <laughs> Go on. Just pull. Oh. You can't even notice in the poison. So 35 halved would be 17 then, 17. Ethan. Yep. So with the temp HP, I took three. There you go. Uh, the dragon head. Smells. Uh, a poop. <laughs> True. This was a poopy. It's going, it's going to... to make me pay for my sins. <laughs> yeah. Fire That's... breath or some bullshit. And like, like, can't wait. wait, did you just do poison damage? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I fucking... Bro, I also I resist that law. So seventeen nice. for you as well. <laughs> Wait, um, heal yourself back up eighteen. Your your boy has that dragon scale crown from like session two. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Got that dog. Oh, here in we him. go, baby. Oh, fuck. Oh, here's the cone. Here's the cone that's a big ass cone. Mm -hmm. Why is it aimed just at me? Hang on. Just at you. Hang on. Hang on a second, oh. Mr. DM. Let's be fair. It's aimed at us. No, 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 I'm trying to see if it can also fuck. Go up. Yeah. What has happened? Why, why is it no longer a con? 
No, no. The, you gotta the like change thing those. Is zero. Oh, Did you see that? right. Yeah, I saw. It's just, it's just funny, Ethan, because in that dome, I can only see me right now, and it's just like, oh, <laughs> rot row raggy. I'm gonna see if it can. Oh my god, he's gonna hit you behind the tree. Does it know though? Does it know about Bruh. the tree? Uh, she's only half here. covered, so she's still partially oh. visible. Yeah, she's she like knows about she she knows, it knows about me, action. but it doesn't know about. It might just say "fuck you" yeah. and just and just set those trees on fire. To be honest, I think that's what's going to do. <laughs> I mean, yeah, how no. wide what is the, the cone? Does it say? What the uh, fuck? <laughs> what did I do? No, no, it's, a, it's a it's a it's a ninety foot right. cone. You look yeah, more indeed. flammable than a Lazarin. So. I don't know how cones work, man. Cones are hard. So it's nine. Cause like it'll uh, cone, cones are a so Yama cones tree. are a set size in D and D. A ninety foot cone mm -hmm. means that it is ninety feet wide at its farthest part, ninety feet away. Yeah, ninety so... feet is eighteen tiles. Eighteen tiles, I'm yeah. Pretty sure, uh, sorry, yeah, eighteen tiles. And I'm pretty sure 90... tail spire considers that as well yeah. in cone size. Yeah, so it's, it's just gonna it's it's gonna. So in this case, even though there's half cover there, uh, because of the sheer size of the cone. I need Kess and Bitch. Thorn to make uh, dex saves. Can, Cor can Thorn even survive this? As like, the as coming? the dragon, maybe as the dragon head begins to roar and it's just this this, this wave of fire just um, escapes. So Kess, you do have yeah. a plus two to your dex saving throw because you're in half cover. Sick. Okay. Uh, uh, I just looked it up because I, I thought I remembered some rule about that. But. Is oh, this yeah. an effect I can see? Yes. Yeah. I guess you're also there, yeah. So I guess you're also affected by it. True, 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 true. Yeah. Because you're right up in yeah, the fucking room. Like, he's he's like right in the fucking face. face. Yeah, you can definitely see him like wind up his like, you know, you can see the throats of the dragon part just kind of oh, come begins on, glowing. Why? And... What'd you roll me? Yeah. He rolled With twice With advantage, bad. because mm -hmm. I'm... Because of danger sense. Right. A nat two and a nat three. Jesus. So it's a coima. A total of ten, I... baby. I rolled Koiba. 24 for okay. cast. Okay. Does does Hawthorne get a bonus for being completely hidden? Uh, oh. I think well, technically full cover, you, could, you do. I think for Dex, yeah, full, full cover. Still one health. No. If I remember, he has 10 plus 5. Uh, full cover. Technically, if it's full cover, he can't get hit. Right? Well, it's an area of effect, uh, right? Yeah, uh, but it would, like, go around the objects, right? So I'll say... Uh, if yeah, it's okay, total so cover, it can be targeted directly. But a three-quarters cover gives plus five. So I'll, I'll say that it, because it's an area of effect, it'll, it'll, he'll get a plus five. Okay. okay. That's, like, the only he way he would got... the Dude, I need to just, like, uh, print out all, all these rules on, like, a cover, sheet. It 21. gives the example of a thick tree trunk. Oh, there you go. What was that? Uh, Sorry? 21, 21. For, 21 for Thorn. Okay, I so Brooks it. takes full damage, <laughs> yeah. but because it's right. fire damage, you're going to take half anyway, so who gives a shit? Uh, Is that because of your subclass? No, I mean, he yes, but him. also because uh, I'm a tiefling. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, in this okay. case, it's just because he's a tiefling as well, yeah. Uh, the poison resist a subclass thing? Or? Yeah, I took Bertolt. That's the... Uh, Bertolt, right, right, so right. everything besides psychic so man is half damage psychic. to him when he's raging. It's fucking yeah, insane. that's crazy. That's so, ready for the <laughs> which the is why he's boys. now going to punish me for my humans. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare. Uh, so those hey man, who made the, the save... second I got fire damage, you went to hell, so join the club. <laughs> the, uh, for those that made the save, True. you take half damage, so everyone affected takes half damage. Um, and 14... Yeah, it's only 300 seven, damage instead of 600. What do you mean? 300 D6? 35... 38? Half, so uh, 19 points of fire damage to each of you. Ooh. Is Thorn dead? No, is, is he? Thorn dead? Probably. He I know he was. just saved a ton. I didn't like dying very much. He did have 14 temp HP. What's his base <laughs> HP, uh, Bell? 1. 1d4. 1d4. I think he's... I think he's dead regardless. I, mean, I just, rolled, I just yeah. rolled a d4, which was 4. So 19. Plus 14 is 18. 18. So he would have been dead, dead regardless. He's dead no! Regardless. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm me a he was back Jesus. for six hours. But and he got nuked. You know what's nice. really annoying though? Is this is exactly what happened last time I <laughs> cast Fine Familiar. And you he died within like so hours. Money to get him back. At this point, you might awesome. as well be waiting as he comes out the brazier yeah. with a bow drawn to the back of his head. It is what it is, guys. Dude, he, had, he didn't even get to attack. Anyway, Davian. <laughs> okay, 
I Bell. would like. I'm sorry, Bell. I promise I'm not targeting you. To. Okay, because I'm hidden, yes. do I get advantage on an attack? Uh. Yeah. Okay. I'll give it to you regardless. So. We'll I would like to poke out from behind the tree. It's within 60 feet of me, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and I would like sure. to pull the Iron Bands of Bellaro from my belt. Ooh. And fucking eat that shit at him. Oh uh, shit! Yeah. So it's just it's just a, a, a an attack. Mm -hmm. um, he rolled a hit. I rolled a thirteen plus three. Uh, a, wait, a nineteen to hit? It's yeah. He's restrained, baby. Get him on the fucking floor. Hey. Oh, boy, hey. Yeah, he's not. Did he take fall damage? He's not. Immune. He's he's just hovering. He already went down to. Oh, oh, okay. He, went he can't fly he's up anymore. Flying. So. Um, Pog. the hunter's mark and hex. How long does that last? Is that a minute or how does that work? Hunter's mark lasts for a while. Hunter's it's like mark an hour. is a long hex time, several minute, hours. Hex okay. is a minute. I'm pretty sure. I think um, it depends on level you cast it, or maybe I'm thinking okay. something else. Bestow curse, maybe. Okay, so he's restrained. Mm -hmm. And now I'm bonus action. Onu is coming charging out from behind that fucking tree. Oh, uh, Onu has Fuck him up. 40 feet of movement, which, yeah, it's yeah, definitely yeah. close. Yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good. And now he's restrained. Mm -hmm. Onu has advantage, right? Yep. Uh, no. no. Wait, no. no, wait, maybe. Restrained is different from incapacitation, my bad. Uh, restrained. Yes. Uh, speed becomes zero. Attack rolls against an advantage. Against yeah, creature. you have a, a right. advantage. So Onu's mm -hmm. gonna fucking maul his ass. With a natural 20. Woo! <laughs> uh, and because he moved at least 20 feet, it's going to be a mole mm -hmm. attack, so he's going to deal an extra D6. Yes. Let's go. And the, so the, the way we do this is maximum on the dice, right? So, and then you roll as normal. And then roll yeah. actually. So 14 plus. <laughs> Only was really out here about to outperform Davian. 20, so 21 Woo! plus 2, so 23 plus... Oh Three to twenty-six points of yeah. slashing damage. Yeah, and that will. Uh, this creature boy. is definitely looking bloody at this point. At this point. Good. Bro, um, that, uh, it's gonna look cool. Like literally, like fucking like foxhound shit. I just took this bitch out of the sky, and Odie just barreled out of the underbrush and fucking mauled him, dude. That's our hunting dog. Oh, that also knocks him prone. If that means. Anything. Uh, I think oh no, he's too big. He's too big. He's too big. Yeah. I was gonna say he's fucking yeah. huge. Oh no, oh no, no wait. A bit too There's small. no size. It's just if the target is a creature, it must succeed oh. on a strength saving throw. So. Uh, but because this is a a creature capable of flight, it is uh immune to being knocked prone according to its sheet. I mean, here. he's restrained. So. No, when he's yeah. restrained. Yeah, but he's immune to the condition of being prone. Oh, so. okay. Oh, oh, okay. There Wizards of right. the coast eat my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> they probably would. What a stupid way to do it. Um, yeah, uh, Bell, Hex Concentration, right? Yeah. Yeah, can you just make me a, a, a column yes. check real quick? Uh, I just did, uh, it was 16 on the die. Okay, yeah, your Hex is still up. Because you took, you took uh, 18, you took 19 damage, so you would have to roll a DC 10, so you're good. 10, yeah. You're good. Yeah. The Hex is still up. Ooh. Uh, alright, is that your turn, Davian? Yeah. Alright. Uh, yeah, so you still got max temp HP, Davian? Ooh, yeah, I've still got it. So, no well, I'd say I, the camera goes to Daigon, but Daigon is inside Daigon. Daigon. Yeah, Daigon. Yeah. What do you do? So you just yeah. follow <laughs> Daigon. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna use my invoke smite action. So I'll say that as your... uh, Daigon oh. had his turn, you can suddenly see as Daigon begins to move now. There's this like faint bluish, like you kind of like emanating Ooh. from his Ooh. arms and, and I'm his eyes. I'm not gonna move at all. He's it's not, almost, I'm not gonna yeah, make no, it but move. it's almost like you, yeah. can, you can tell when Diagon is in control. When can, I'm active, like his eyes, instead of this like orangey glow that they've had, they, the, the glow turns they a bit get more a blue. bluish, like a blue cool. fire. It's like it's yeah, like, like a blue yeah. fire. Yeah. Almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why, right. but in my head, I imagine like Diagon's arms coming out to puppet him. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking gross. Um, so you hear... Yeah, like the astral arms come out, like, <laughs> yeah, like, they, like they like pick up your arms like a, That's sick. Like a I mean we can flavor no, this however the weird. fuck we want, Laura. That'll lead up to yeah. you. Fucking well, yeah. so, well I, I had an idea for the flavor. So in the oh. back of your head, uh Davian, no only Davian just hears, um Um I think I think your next shot will be really is gonna be really good. 
hope you don't miss. <laughs> and you feel this like cold kind of strange energy like in your chest and then you see that blue glow from his eyes kind of move down his arm and around whatever bow he's actively using and i've used my invoke smite so your next attack with that bow will deal an additional 2d8 radiant damage if it Whoops, hits shit. you are Damn. filled with the termination yeah so and it's until the end of my next turn so it yeah, only so lasts is that I instead, of, for you, so. instead of you making me attack yeah, it just means I've powered okay. up your next attack, basically. Okay. Holy shit. Fuck yeah. So don't miss. So don't miss, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll kill you. Uh, Anything else you want to do? Duke, never, Duke never misses. Yeah. True. And then I, Not with America's that's, ass, he doesn't. That's my turn, because I, I don't okay. have a bonus action that I, I can do, and I don't want to make Davian move at all. Like, yeah. if it, whatever he's got, to, I don't want to throw him off before his next okay. shot, so. Yeah, so Davian, you look down <laughs> at your bow, and you can, you can anyway, see this, so. this, like, bluish energy just really pulsating and emanating from and around your bowl. radiant damage is filthy. All right. Jax, you're still, you're floating so above this thing did, right now. Yeah, you did fucking AOE shit last turn, so you didn't even get disadvantage from it. I'm so mad. Uh, it's like half my class. Cry more. Um, I, damn. <laughs> what I was doing. Uh, do I do more damage with this? Look at this dude. Yeah... I'm tempted to just fuck over the Chimera, but... Um, I'm just gonna fly down to flanking with Brooks. Okay, you'll have to move or, back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 that's cool. Um... Yeah. And then, I mean, it's restrained anyway, so I have advantage, but... Yep. Either way. Then we're Even gonna right. hit it twice, give it a good old one, too. Go on, mate. Okay, that's not... Bad. 17 to hit. It's nice. And a 22 to hit. 22? Definitely. Sir. Definitely. For ugh, 17 points of damage. 17 points of uh, thunder uh, damage. Thunder damage. All right. And that is my turn. As you strike it, uh, you can see one of the arcane runes that I described uh, that are kind of like branded into his uh, skin begins to fade. And I need you, Jax, to make a... Oh, fuck. Don't say uh, Dex. Hold. Don't say Dex. This does not sound good. Don't you fucking dare say Dex. This sounds like it's gonna be Dex. I know. A wisdom saving throw. Oh! Oh, he wins those. Well, mm. kind of. Don't say that. No, you win those. Don't say that just yet. Manifest. Um, it, is babe. this a. Never mind, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, yeah, I win these. Uh, Dirty 20. Okay. You can feel your body begins to tense up a little bit, but you kind of break through that. Your muscles cramped up a little bit, but you, you kind of manage to brush it off. And the arcane rune just reappears back on the uh, Chimera's body. What the fuck is... That's fucking yikes. That's some That's voodoo shit, bro. Mm. <laughs> That's no, terrifying. It, it, it attempted to dominate a person, you. Oh, <laughs> oh this no! Is like, this is like glowing, by the way. Oh no! Tempered. This is like tempered monsters. Are all of and those runes glowing, or are some of them out? Uh, no, all the runes that you see have like a faint glow. Uh, okay, so he's not already that's... dominating someone. That's gonna. It's a good thing I have advantage on those boys. Let me tell you, because I rolled natural one into seventeen. So, uh... <laughs> Fine, we could have killed uh, you, Brooks. I don't think so. I mean, now it's down on the ground. It is. Yeah. So I'm gonna do what I do best. Come on. And hit it. Hit it very hard. I'm um, gonna miss every. Hit. I have advantage, of, uh, right? Spinach. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's restrained. Yeah. Uh, it's restrained, and you're flanking. So yeah, you have advantage. Absolutely. Uh, natural twenty on the first one. Woo! Hog. He's fucked. Uh, He's killing it. He's killing it. Uh, fucking twenty. Which is a shame because I really want to use that smite. I know. I really do too. What's up, uh, uh, B? So it's gonna be. Fuck. Let's just do it all in one go. It'll be ten, twelve. Um, yeah, I don't think any of the damage 20. types you output is anything that matters to this guy. It's magic bludgeoning. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, what Ooh. are you fucking with right Ooh. now? This is hard. <laughs> <laughs> so that is it was 31 bad. across the two attacks including the crit 31 points of bludgeon damage. 31 point you just start bashing oh. it and you manage to just clock the lion head straight in his jaw and you can hear the jaw just unhinge and just uh. bonus action flurry of blows go on now if mm. it matters these are non-magic okay good to know Gonna die it, before Daddy even gets to shoot it. Things. <laughs> uh, well, for you that guys is to get a bloody a, it's really a nineteen. It's and uh, dirty twenty. Also hits. So we're talking. Oh well, that shit. The first one is seven. Seven, seven, Second seven, seven. one is seven ten, so another seventeen. Okay. Uh, is it still one? up? Yeah. God damn. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's everything I can do. I'm not going to move. Uh, before I end my turn, are we breaking after this? Should I start rolling a cigarette? We are going to take a break after this fight, Jenny. Okay, I'll start rolling a cigarette. That's my turn. Okay. Yes. Hiding between the branches. Scorched. Um, Scorched. Yeah, these trees are on fire, by the way. I, are, they are. Am I in the room? Do I get temp? Sorry. Uh, Wait, did you get hit? You're just. I, I, I'd say just, that uh, you're technically in this square, right? I'll say you're in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Give cool, you get 12. Thank you. Love you. Do you want to do a bell? Eldritch Beast. <laughs> Yeah, uh, just, uh, roll just, two attacks. Every time. Uh, dirty 20. Hits. And another dirty 20. That was two <laughs> That one doesn't hit, strangely. Mm, crazy. <laughs> it's like rolling snake eyes. Snake eyes. Okay. Uh, nine and six. Nine and 15 six. force yeah. damage. Mm hmm. Three thunder. Mm -hmm. And eight necrotic. Okay. Anything else you want to like to do with your turn? No. Nah. It's, uh, it's definitely beginning to look uh, pretty fucking rough. No. Davian, finish it. Get the finishing blow. Elazrin. It has a turn, right? Yeah. Yeah. Elazrin yeah. and it have a turn still, but I'm just getting excited. Something crazy. It's still a game. Oh, yeah. One yeah, Lazarin, yeah, I get the kill it here. It might dominate Davian. Uh, I'm going bolt, to third fucking... level uh, Guiding Bolt. Oh, oh. <laughs> cool. no. Run up to it, third level. Bad. Wins. I hope I you, you have that bad too. I hope you not one and hit me instead. I have advantage? I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, he does. It's restrained. restrained. Uh, it's only with melee attacks. No. No, no attack rolls. No, attack rolls. Attack rolls. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, holy shit. Yep. Okay, now. <laughs> That's a natural point. I'm just gonna staple the definition of restraints my forehead. Yeah, dude. Dude, I, I, dude we've been doing like this for almost five years, bro. I still, I'm like, what did you do again? It's like, it's, it's horrible. Because they're all like similar with like a caveat. Yeah. Natural 20, huh? Yeah. Sad. So one base, time, I'm not excited. So, so base damage is 30. Roll low damage. So base damage is 30. Okay. Oh, okay. You did it level dead. four. Like, oh, no, sorry. Now. Sorry. Sorry, it's 36. It's 36. Oh, so good. Base damage is 36. It's radiant. Does it take extra damage from radiant just, as well? Just oh, my God. Are you fucking radiant? No. I rolled well, that one. It's no awful, health by the way. Good. <laughs> is it immune to radiant just to fuck uh, one, one, three. <laughs> that would have fucked with Davian's arrow, too. So. Yeah, so that's yeah, yeah but it's not going to go the killing blow. No, it's, it's only from clerics. <laughs> Forty-seven. That's fifty-two points of death. Radiant damage. Oh, yeah, I do you want to fucking finish them off? I, I fucking, I like. You mean? Look at it, and I'm sort of like doing a prayer, and I'm thinking this fucking thing needs to go, and I'm just gonna hit it with this guiding bolt, and I just like to think it like it glows, like it's been like it looks like it's holding in place mm -hmm. to be like ready for the next hit, and it just fucking like shatters, just pff, with like just radiant light. All right. Can I shoot my arrow into the air and it explodes like a big golden firework? Sure, man. Yeah. 
Why don't you shoot your arrow at it? And as he uh, kills with you, that, we'll uh, we'll go on our break here real quick because uh, yeah, we've been on yeah. a little longer because of combat. Um, we'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, thanks for the follows and stuff, guys. Uh, we we proper broke two fifty followers this time around, guys. We did it. <gasps> Um, <laughs> for real? Let's go. Our fucking viewer for follower ratio is insane. That is true, yeah. Uh, yeah, so we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, but go for a stretch, have another drink, you know, go go, go pee, whatever it is you gotta do. You don't want kidney stones. Kidney stones are bad. Don't hold your pee, it's bad for you. Kidney stones are um, bad. So we'll be, yeah, we'll be back in a few minutes. Done. Be right back.
more than his oh. 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 Hello, 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 hello. God, you timed that well, bitch. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you guys give me the thumbs up, and then I'm still terrified to unmute every time. Yeah. <laughs> you should, I mean, sometimes we just plan stuff. We turn to like, oh my god, conversation say that as soon as Dutch on death is. Yeah, like... I mean, I don't blame you. It's the same when Laura DMs like... and, I'm, and we're playing Call of Duty, but I yeah. always have some thing to say about some phallic object. Yeah, it's always Dutch. It's only Dutch. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that is always me. So the main one I remember is like the very first session we did it, and as soon as I undeafened, Dutch went with, and that's how I got a micro penis. What? Mm. <laughs> how do you get one of those? You don't. You I think, I think, one? I don't know, dude. Just off the cuff. eBay? You know? Craigslist. My list. I think one of them was like, <laughs> I said, and that's how I'm no longer allowed near a preschool or some shit like that. Like, yeah, yeah, that was one of them too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I get more storage. Let's go, dude. Yeah, the ones on the Beyond all had 150 pounds of space. So like, fuck it, I'll give you that then instead, because I couldn't be fucked making one myself. No, he he upped his fucking Dropbox subscription. He's got more storage. Exactly. Right. So, as the Chimera has completely been obliterated by holy light, um, leaving nothing but dust in its wake. Can I get my arrows back from that dust? Uh, yeah, sure, man. We'll say that the arrows remained intact. As, as, as a slight the... sad moment as you see the like magical essence. Oh no, the magical one went up in the air. And oh right, yeah, you firework, right, you yeah. firework that. Yeah, yeah, never mind, never mind, never mind. So I'm down yeah. too because I missed one and hit with another. <laughs> well, Davian's collecting the arrows before I go back to my own body. Just here, dang it, that would have been so cool. And then I. It's always next time, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> and I go back to my own body. It won't okay. be next time. She'll be dead by then. <gasps> um. <laughs> You can't be double dead. No. <laughs> what? Oh, um, we'll anything you guys would like to do uh, before you continue on your travel? I cry. Okay. Um, Just stuff in the, the evening body, when we the body camp. kind of. He says dust. It's gone. Says it's gone. Dust. Like, lashing completely uh, obliterated. It is completely just you gone. You motherfucker. Oh, sorry. We just sorry. <laughs> holding. The, sorry, the downside of being epic with your, you know, sorry. finishing it off. Sometimes bodies get destroyed, Soko, unfortunately. <laughs> I just got a bag I could stuff it in, too. Why are you... Well, okay, we'll talk, Soko. You got a problem. You're, you're fucking water, right? I'm cutting off uh, parts of creatures that are better make me... Let me craft better yeah, items, like the, the way artificers and our crafting <sighs> magical items works is, like, the rarer the magical creature you farm stuff from... The better, oh, that was the better an item. Oh, the man, that yeah. was pretty fucking rare as well, dude. Yeah, you don't <laughs> fuck. Ooh. Ooh, you hate to see it, really. Oh, I got my iron bands back. Also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. Which I, the one thing about him, because I'm really glad it didn't try and it didn't save it. Any creature that successfully saves out of it's, the bands are destroyed. Them, yeah. yeah, but it's a so. DC 20, so like. Yeah, but that thing looked pretty. Strong, it's so I, I would have been scared. <laughs> Big old beef boy. How would Daigon take the magic, the magic out of the bands? Just real quick. Would it just be your spectral arms and then grab it? Instead? <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll find some way to flavor that. Anyway. I could have, but then I chose. <laughs> see, I chose to give them to Devian. No, no, yeah, yeah, I guess, I, the, thinking, I guess if, if I had consumed the enchantment. Attack. Yeah, if I had consumed the enchantment, I guess like we could have flavored it as like they'd be spectral bands yeah. rather than physical bands, yeah. and it's just encased in like energy. But anyway, cool. right? So you guys Spirit. pack your, pick up your stuff, and uh, continue on your merry merry way, and you get towards like the edge of the forest, and you can see in the distance a couple hours from from or like a few hours from where you are. We'll say that you've traveled a little deeper into the night, given that you started late. Um, you see it's roughly like. Maybe one, like bat, like one a.m. is when you're you reach the edge of the forest. You've had a pretty good amount of light because there's barely a cloud in the sky because it's still very summery. So there's a very bright moon. Um, you can see that a few hours march from where you are. You can already see kind of like the the edge of like this small village popping up on the horizon. Uh, if you want to make camp, this would be an, uh, a, a, as good a place as any to do so and, and rest up for the night before you finish up your trek. Um, is there anything for the sake of expediency that you would like to do during your, your campsite, uh, you uh know, rituals? I wa I well, I asked Brooks, since we took those pastries, if we're down to, to see now if I can still taste things if I'm hitchhiking with someone. Got five pounds in the bag. You want to try, then sure. Yeah. Also, petition 
and five pounds in, of pastries. In, mm-hmm. in character, petition to change the word to hitchhike as opposed to possess because I think it sounds nice. It's hitchhike when it's on friendly. <laughs> when, it's a, when it's friendly, it's, yeah. It's, it's possessing when it's friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm down for that. Or random that. horses. Or random <laughs> horses. Probably. Or yeah. random horses. <laughs> It's hitchhike when it's convenient to you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> actually, well, actually, wait. Before we do that, I wanna. Wait. I'll turn to Jax and go. Just confirming, we're for sure gonna make it to Stonefall tomorrow. I, I believe so, unless we get waylaid by something. Okay, then I'll go ahead with the experiment because I can't possess someone for twenty-four hours after I've done it. So I don't want to, in case we might need to fight again. Wouldn't you technically anyway. possess Davy oh. in the fight? Yeah, but I keep talking about, I'm going to do it with Brooks now. The same person. Oh, the, the same, same person. person. Right. Sorry. The same oh, person. Okay. They're immune well, for 24 hours, basically. Knowing, like, do you know that, like, as a thing? Does Dai get, does Dai I mean, know? no. I feel like it's an innate thing. No, but I, maybe, like, yeah. You can't possess, well, be like, well, you're probably going to possess I mean, in a fight. Know, you, we all you, know you, our class abilities, right? So, yeah. it's just, to a certain I mean, I'm Dai getting it, you're probably not going to possess me in a fight, so you can possess me now, so you don't have to worry about possessing. True, and again, it's hitchhike. Just sounds. Sorry, hitch. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I get used to the terminology. Not, it's it's, yeah. it's new to me as well. Sorry, that's you know, fair. Like you can take a. You can ride hitchhike. behind someone on a horse. I mean, technically, I can. Now, after those scrolls I picked up, I'm now still fairly helpful, no matter who I'm riding with in a fight. Before it was like our, our physical fighters, where I was probably going to be more beneficial, but now I can still be fairly helpful for most of you so it doesn't really matter but bit more unlikely to go yeah so Lajan has like the biggest target sure. on his back as well the, the, the <laughs> ma- the ma- it, like both out of combat and in combat I've just made a character that's like this motherfucker needs to die yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I need to start I, your if you want a room. fight to have any sort of stakes, you gotta target the Lazarus. <laughs> yep. All right, so I'll go it ahead and true. then I'll go ahead. Giving us yeah, so you uh, hitchhike in uh, into a Lazarus. Oh, do you get my palette? Uh, <laughs> well, well we're, 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 we're finding out now. Right now. Well, if were we just sitting around a campfire? Yeah. yeah then I'll again just go put my body in a tent or wherever we're gonna. Or do we have a tent or do we just sleep under the stars? Yeah, we have, we have tents. You have tents. Have tents. Okay, then I'll yeah. go lay down in the tent and come back out. And then you you stuck into my water. Get your ride. Get your powder into it. You did. <laughs> no, so yeah, you, your your spiritual form uh, comes out of the tent and you just see it enter Lazarin's body. Um. And as you then, via Elazarin, you know, take a pastry and, and take a bite, um, you do have a sense of taste. Uh, it doesn't feel as um, strong. strong as if you were to taste it yourself, but you could definitely, there's there's some yeah. semblance of an idea, like a, a very faint experience of, yeah, this kind of okay. feels similar to eating things myself. Okay. Like like you, you get the taste, you, 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 yeah. you, you taste it. Um, it's not like you taste nothing, but it doesn't taste as strongly as it would have if you would have eaten, taste eaten it, it yourself. Filtered through a Lazarin, or to be, like if it was an item I liked before, <laughs> it still tastes good. You would still like it. That like, a disliked. It could just be I'm that a Lazarin, a Lazarin kind of goes, Ugh, but you can be enjoying it. No, yeah, it's still, fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll, so you just hear in your head. Yum! It tastes good. Make somebody eat That's something good, bad. But it's yeah, pretty like, good. Like it, here's a wine you don't like, but I love. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I would just leave, probably. <laughs> so. Lazarin, here's a like, whiskey that I like that you don't love. Lazarin, Lazarin goes to sip it and like Digan's just like <laughs> back out of Lazarin. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it and it goes back. Like, you know that like everyone has that one alcohol drink that's like bad, like bad memories on. It's like that for yeah. Dyson. <laughs> that's tequila yeah. for me, dude. I fucking. Mm-hmm. Daniels, heavily, I mean, heavily was... got sick. Oh, I love tequila. After a night of drinking Same. tequila. Tequila is my alcohol of choice. And God, now, and now the scent of tequila no, makes me want to vomit because of that one night. It's fucking wild. Uh, yeah, that's how it be, man. Um, anyway, so anything you guys want to do before you rest for the night? I, you know those, um, those things like desk toy things, where it's like a little. It kind of looks like a little star, and then you like. Yes. I'm just sitting there doing that with the Iron Man's Bellero. <laughs> what do you want to do, uh, Soko? Uh, I want to read up on uh, the where Treasures of the New World book that I got. Okay. 
um, find the Arcanite section and look and see if it says anything about smithing it. Um, how long We're do you roughly it. spend? Hey, what time is it? Uh, we pretty late already. Like 1 like, it's, like, it's like past yeah. midnight at this point. So we'll be past, getting a late start uh, tomorrow. Past like an hour. Longer. An hour. So a little bit, little campsite read while you have some yeah, food. Yeah, a little help fall asleep, you know. If you guys are having any sort of food, obviously, you know, mark down a ration and all that jazz. Um, unless people are going to collect at this time of night, trying to see if they can find enough for everyone. It's also fine. <laughs> Um, I mean, okay. pastries for dinner. Should, you have pastries. Should should you have to, yeah, no, you fucking yoink pastries. So if you want pastries. Five pounds true. pastries, I don't... Yeah, don't need rations, I don't think. I think five pounds of pastries is plenty for uh, the six of you. <laughs> the five of you, I guess, because like, Diagon is purely eating for the pleasure like, of tasting, not even for... Now food. we're just going to be ordering <laughs> stuff at the tavern and then just keeping it with us for all. Yeah, I mean, they we are be. actually... We are those people, man. We're not <laughs> <still> <laughs> 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 I paid for this. We get the large plate of Toby Cavalry knowing we won't eat it all. Yeah, can I get a doggy bag, please? <laughs> yeah. uh, for a, about an hour, Soko, as Jax kind of begins, uh, are you skimming through or are you just starting at the Arcanite chapter and then reading? Um, Probably skimming to look for where it talks about smithing it. Yeah. Uh, there is there a chapter reading. that goes on about refining it. Um, Because in its raw form, it states that yeah. Like, it's, you already know Arcanite is a very volatile uh, ore or, or material, and, and, and mm -hmm. it has to be refined in such a, in a very specific, meticulous way for it to even become something you can smith with without the yeah. risk of just blowing everything up around you. Um, <laughs> the refining uh, process, what you pick up on is that it requires extremely, extremely hot temperatures... But it's like a, a very specific temperature range. It can't be oh. refined in a temperature colder than a certain amount. Like there's a very sp there's a very small range of heat. Going okay. over it will ruin it. Going under it will ruin it. And either over or under will have disastrous consequences. But a typical very... forge can hit that temperature. Yes, as long as okay. it's a forge that you know you can manage and keep the temperature within a certain. Yeah, range. one with like a bellows and stuff. Yeah. Um. So you know that now. Uh, it also states that after uh, having it being heated up for for about an hour within that range, uh, it is then important that after an hour you immediately take it out of whatever it is you're, you're you were heating it up in, and uh, it needs to be at this state. It becomes it's very dangerous to handle. Don't, you know, don't shake it. Don't fucking drop it. Make sure that it's kept steady and and you have to ha you have to rest it. It needs to rest and just sit there, naturally cooling off. And as you do that, because it, uh, the refining, um, the, the heating it up and then letting it cool down naturally again makes it so that the outer shell of the Arcanite begins to cr will begin to crack and kind of break off. And what you are left with is like the, the the core of of the piece of arcanite that you're working with and at that from that point onwards uh what you pick up on is um that it still needs to be handled with care but you can very steadily and very carefully begin to kind of start chipping it into smaller pieces and what it states in the book is that don't try and dictate the size chunks you want it to be. Just you start chiseling at it and whatever shapes it and pieces it breaks off of is what you get. Okay. Because um, it, it, due to its magical, uh, due to the fact that it's it's something... That originates from from arcane ley lines and and whatnot. Uh, it kind of has like a bit of a will of its own, and it decides how big a chunks of usable arcanite, refined arcanite, you'll get from it, kind of thing. Um, so it's a bit of a bit of a gamble, a bit of a risk. Uh, but that's about how far you get you get through the refinement refinement of it. You don't have time to also get into the okay. Now that I have the chunks, then what? Yeah. Uh, so that's that's what you get in that hour. Cool. Just, just so recreation break. Oh my god, my hello. Uh, <laughs> Jax had all the books in the bag of holding, right? Or did I? All the I... books. Yeah. Oh, the ones I bought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, well, that in, like, including, like, because obviously we've got that, like, yeah, the necromancy tome thing. and the yeah, fucking, cool. yeah, cool. uh, uh, what's it called? I, Warforged people. Yeah, I thought that was the case, but I had this sudden, like, horrible moment. I was like, wait, shit, am I carrying one of them? So, <laughs> well, I'm they, sure like, gave Jackson to me. Yeah, 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 that's, that's what I was, cool. So, I just did this horrible, you're like, fuck. <laughs> wait, it's, am like I carrying the, it's like with the ring earlier that I asked you about, because I was yeah, just, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, Oh god, am I carrying this book? <laughs> no, like, okay, I good. meant to give it to you, but I wasn't sure if I did, and then... Yeah, and then, I was like, and then vice versa, I'm like, did did I pick up the book, or did I just talk about it? <laughs> did I just say, like, yo... Um, anything else anyone wants book? to do before you long rest? Uh, while they're resting, since I don't sleep, I'm gonna just spend part of the evening writing in my journal. But that's while they're all sleeping, I can do that. You're also kind of keeping an eye out, since you're yeah. kind of there as well. Uh, yeah. Make a perception check for me. Five. Five? Uh, yeah, you're so caught up in your, you know, your your writing that uh, you don't really pay much attention. But the night seems to go by pretty easily. There's not really much. Uh, you get into an area where you're far enough from the bigger cities away that there's no real, like, highwaymen or bandits that really... Plus, you yeah. didn't travel via main roads, travel through the woods, so the risk of getting mugged in this area is significantly lower than... Getting mugs like half a mile yeah. down the road from Darmouth, for instance. Um, so yeah, no, it's a pretty chill night. It's a, a nice, cool breeze. Uh, you can see some clouds forming above you, which indicate that it might start raining somewhere tomorrow. But it only looks like it might, if it starts raining at all, it might just be like a slight drizzle, not not much. I also have a question: the scrolls that I consumed the enchantment of mm -hmm. is the the writing and the arcane like information still on them. I know they're not magical anymore, but yeah, do, like the text is, is still there, there but it doesn't... magically removed. Okay. Text is still there. So, it just doesn't do anything anymore. If I were a, were a not as nice of a person, I could try and con some like a newbie sorcerer or some shit into thinking they were spell scrolls and sell them, but you could definitely try. Yeah. I could try. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. And your night you thought of that. <laughs> your night goes by. And you all wake up feeling uh, refreshed, long rested, ready for a new day. And uh, it's roughly, let's say, like nine in the morning now when everyone wakes up. Uh, it's close to ten, probably. Well, whatever, who cares? And you can see in the distance um, that the um, your destination is only a few more hours of walking ahead of you. You guys want to have some food, I guess. I mean, five pounds of pastry, dude. You probably have enough for for brekkie as well. Bro. More pastries. More donuts. We're all gonna vomit horrendously. Donuts. Like it's not like one meal equals a, to like a like a pound of pastries is a lot of pastries, dudes. Like a per <laughs> each. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fucking hell. Um. Oh, I want to change my spells, arc. I mean, yeah, it's I like two. We have like oh, two and a half kilos. And while they're eating breakfast, yeah. I'll be like, oh, uh, just so you're keeping track, um, Alazrin, it's I, there's four days left until I'll need a refresher. A gentle approach. Yep. That's, that's <laughs> good to know. Up. I um, you know, I make sure I keep that that prepared at all times, just just in case we need to. We need oh, to you know, if you need to, if you need more of your magical reserves available, we can always wait till we're in the day like eight to ten range, and then you can use that slot for. Oh um, no, no, no! It's honestly, it's fine. I uh, I, I struggle to remember what exactly I might need per day, so. <laughs> It's good to just have it isn't always there, you know? Because I know one day I'm going to forget, and it'll be like the day we need it. So if I just keep it there, it's always there. You know? Sure. So, <laughs> I'm gonna fuck it up. Oops, I accidentally made it so that Dagon's corpse brought it away. Li literally, I don't want to be the guy who's like, we got time, and then you spent two weeks doing this. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> So it also sounds like my corpse would instantly desiccate. All of a sudden, it just a few days, like, what smells kind of fun? Yeah. Well, that's no, like, oh, no. <laughs> we'd, have, we'd have to fucking jack consistently fucking, like, cringe shit. Like, like sew it like? up. You guys smell that? Yeah, guys, yeah I feel like... The um, presentation, the right. fucking, like, rose smell. <laughs> so unless there's anything you guys want to do before you hit the road again? No, sir. I no. would like to take the time to disguise myself. Okay, what is it? Oh, uh, shit, yeah. what, what model are we are we thinking? I am going to 
I like Inconspicuous mm -hmm. Gnome, number three. He's a really good Yeah, one. he's just going to go into this. I can't do him, though. I can't do a gnome. No, nah, man, he's just going to make Inconspicuous Human, number three. He's just going to make this Dwarf, look number seven. No, no, no. It's, it's exactly the same as Brooks, but younger. <laughs> I'm not using magic. Wrinkles. I'm going to. Dude, that would really fuck it. with his parents. <laughs> just, just get rid of the wrinkles. Just, just shows up uh, as Brooks, but 15. Teenage. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, Dad, help! What do you mean, parents? <laughs> None of you have ever asked. All right. Yeah. So, what do you, uh, what do you disguise yourself as? So, I'm going to use my disguise kit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to swap from the blue suit to the black suit mm, big change uh, we're going to weird. a funeral boys <laughs> just a matter of whose funeral you're going to mm. <laughs> i hate you all. it's a lazarus Every single one of you <laughs> um i'm gonna go we're gonna go elf vibes so a slight change to the hair color elf okay. ears Can you put in hair, hair extensions too <clears throat> no. Tell me, where is Gandalf? For I much desire to speak with him. <laughs> Righty. Uh, Why did you do that to me? Why? So what's your... Uh, fuck, I keep forgetting what check we decide on for your <laughs> shit. But... Performance? Yeah. Or dexterity for, like, his uh, the handiwork of the makeup or whatever? I don't know. Yeah, we'll just make it a dex check with proficiency. Because you're proficient with the disguise kit, right? Yeah. Do I get advantage on it or not? No. Okay. Get fucked. With uh, Dex, you said? Correct. 14. Uh, it's pretty convincing. Uh, not your best work, but definitely not your worst. So it'll I do. mean, to be fair, I don't need people to not realize it's a disguise. I just don't Yeah, not look. realize it's like, you, and there's a whole different... Not instantly, yeah. yeah, look at you and be like, it's that guy. Exactly. All right. When so you guys... Guys, I don't give a shit. Hit the road. Um, and... and... Don't you come back. And... As you get closer to Stonefall, you start to realize how small of a village it really is. You can see like a no, total load. Yeah, I got that too. <laughs> Wait, what? Koiba oh, sent us a Snapchat. And it's just him but from just like, like below. <laughs> what? what? It's beautiful. <laughs> a very Yo. sexy individual. Can God. we shut it, put it in the group chat so we can make it into an email? Yes. No! So, what the uh, fuck? Wait, hold on. I didn't get the no. Snapchat. That's bullshit. That's what the snap. <laughs> All right. Anyway, guys, no, please, 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 please. One more hour. Fuck one more hour. Uh, fucking Jesus. Um, you start to realize how how small of a of a village Stonefall really is. There's maybe like ten to fifteen buildings max. Um, Brooks never really shared, but like there, there doesn't. It's not a very big town. It's it's, it's a village. They never has maybe like like thirty people ish living there. Um, and as you enter the village, uh, some of the people definitely, like, kind of shoot you a look because they're not used to visitors in this, uh, in this sense, like, oh. But they do kind of, like, nod and wave, uh, at you as you walk by. Uh, you can see up ahead, there's a small, like, square where you can see a building marked, uh, the Anvil and Arms Forge. You also see a building marked the Lakeside King Tavern. And all the other buildings are pretty much unmarked. They just seem like houses. As far as you can tell for now. So, oh. first things first, as we're, as we're arriving. Mm -hmm. Please, for the love of the gods, don't do anything fucking stupid while we're here. I resent the implication that we would. I, so as I far don't. as I'm aware from the information I've been given by people that we trust, looking at Kess and Dagon, there's no one here, in terms of the law, I have no problems here. In terms of individual people, there's a few that I would rather avoid. So just, don't do anything fucking stupid, okay? No possessing horses. Got it. What's up, Jax? Uh, who are we trying to avoid? No, no, you guys don't have to avoid anything. You'll be fine, just... Right, but surely it would be good for us to know so we don't run into them accidentally and, you know, if you're trying to avoid them... Yeah, I'd rather not invite them to drink with we're, us. We're going then... to go to my dad's house and I'm going to probably stay there. Oh, 
are we using your name or are we yeah, which, calling which you something name different? Probably, I mean, just don't use my name in the three minutes it takes us to walk into the house. Once we're in, <laughs> but where's a good place to stay that's not your like dad's house? Because she was not going to want to. It is, it is, you sleep on the floor at ours or you go to the tavern. That is your only options. Uh, we can call you Brian. We could camp in Brian. the back garden, right? <laughs> I don't know if there's a garden. You so, fucking yeah. grew up here. Well, what I imagined, <laughs> what, what I, yeah, no, what I imagined, because you didn't really specify your backstory, what I imagined is that Six you live on. above, or you used to live above the blacksmith shop that you that yeah. ran. So, like, yeah, yeah. The, the, the house is like, the blacksmith shop is like the bottom floor, and then upstairs is like a living area where we used to live. Yeah, I. Yeah, but if it's easy, you'll I have a yard. Dutch, like, you know, I asked if he wanted me to describe it, and he was like, no, I got it, it's cool. Yeah, so I, I so kind of envisioned it as the living space where, where Brooks would have lived when he still lived here was above the smith. So the above only the thing I have actually like written down is like Brooks' bedroom if it hasn't changed. Hmm. It's the laundry room now. Yeah. His dad's turned it into a games room. Yep. <laughs> Office plays cobbles oh and catacombs. <laughs> We're just gonna walk straight into the blacksmiths and we'll go from there. Just please don't fuck this up. I feel like all of this, you know, raining is really just tempting us to fuck this up, you know? Like, do you know what? Perhaps, perhaps you we should go to anyone? the tavern while you talk to your dad. If you, as long as I'm not there and you don't tell anyone that I'm there, do what the fuck you want. Mention me all you want. Don't kill anyone. Don't yeah, kiss. Don't kill anyone. What if they tried to kill us first? Then make sure that a large number of people saw them try to kill you first and that they didn't have a good reason for trying to kill you. Just try not to kill anyone. Are you saying we should be on our best behavior, Brooks? I'm saying that everyone should for once do what a Lazarin does. Walk oh, off on his own oh, no. into a crowd? Be a fucking dweeb? <laughs> Shine yes, all the gold pieces! This is a very small town. If you get in trouble, everyone will know. Oh, that's fair. And we only have maybe three people, four people here that will help us. <laughs> but we're great. Well, you're basically worth like three people. That's, That's like ten whole pet. Don't no, don't inflate his ego anymore. No, don't mm. say that. Let's let's just go, okay? Let's just We're gonna go in to the We're gonna go into the shop, it's gonna be fine. Yeah. Right. Try not to be too What's your last flashy. name? Why Why? Just so I don't accidentally say it out loud, you know. Because I'd rather call your dad, but it's the best first name. I'd rather call him Mr. Right. I mean, you should all know this. I have. Told I know it. I know it. Hold on. Hold on. Consult notes. I know this. <laughs> I didn't write it down. If I told. <laughs> Your last name is Faber. F A B R E. O'Leary. O'Leary. <laughs> McGuinness. Uh, <laughs> O'Shea. <laughs> all right. So, you guys headed on towards yeah. the. So we we just we all arms. agree we walk down the middle of the fucking street going. Yeah, now announcing uh, the right honourable <laughs> Brooks <laughs> Faber <laughs> of Sigalia. Thorma told you to make it sound booming. All right. So as you uh, approach the uh, the forge, the Anvil and Arms Forge, um, you all just open the door and walk in. What do you do? I'm, we're letting Brooks take the lead. I'm assuming we're all kind of. I open the door and walk in, and I wait to see who's yeah. there. Entourage. As you uh, walk in, you can see inside, um, down to the left of the workshop, a human man with uh, long black hair, kind of tied up in, in a, into a ponytail, and uh, oh, and a goatee with a uh, tan skin, just kind of hammering <laughs> on top of a blade on an anvil. I do. I was so tempted to just hit, hit you with a fucking <laughs> top of the morning. No. Top of the morning to you. What would you do? Good morning. I'll uh, be with you shortly. Let me just finish this off real quick. And he starts. He just continues to. Is there anyone else in the the shop? Just no. Lot? Just you. Just you. I'm gonna in. go. Just. I'm just gonna go. Turn the sign on the door and buy the top lock. Yeah, uh, he's, he doesn't really notice. Aggressive. He's too focused on 
You then, he then puts the sword, like, puts the blade in, like, uh, you know, the fucking liquid, so you shh. I'm All right. Act, like, hold on. I'm huh? going to act like one of those people who's mm -hmm. like has a badly behaved dog, you know? They were like mm -hmm. they're in a public place and they're yeah. like, "No, sit down. No. No, 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 no. Like uh, with Odu, like as the dog was <laughs> right. Like, I'm like I'm like, "Oh, no, oh shit. No. Stop. 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 Is that dog <laughs> going to be uh, going to behave in here?" Oh, yeah, no, no, he's fine. He's fine. Oh, no. Odu just, looks, Odu just uh, looks at you and just I'm gonna, I'm gonna start taking my disguise off very openly. Oh, go, go, go along with it, Odin. Go along with it. No, 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 not expecting to see you ever again, to be honest. Ever's a long time, to be fair. I... I meant to write. I, I did start writing. Things have been... Mm. Hectic. Glad you're thinking of me, at least. As he says that, I want to sign language to Kess. Because I know Kess has read his letters. Forgot to ask, do they have, have beef? Are they good? And just wait for Kess to answer yes or no in sign language back. I was just, just like, remember. Okay, just, uh, okay. Continue. Uh, with, with my passive insight, is the tension palpable? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's definitely some tension there. <laughs> Alright, and who are these people then? Uh, these are... the merry bunch of idiots that I've managed to pick up that have, for the most part, Kept, kept me alive, alive and vice versa. Um, I believe well, I'll give you all a little, little, little warning about Brooks here. Careful, he might just one day decide to disappear on you. That could be said for most of us here, to be Aww. fair. It's kind of a thing we have in common. I said most, looking at Jax's face, most. I feel like uh -oh. it's a bit different when one is your ad adoptive son as you raised. Especially given what happened. Dun, dun, what happened? Ah! I mean, it's not with my everything business to tell. going on, would you have preferred me to stay, realistically? Would have preferred a bit more information for coming from you about what happened. Instead of having to find out from Yorick. That's, that's fair. I... It's been... When I say it's been hectic, I... If I sat and told you everything that we have done in the past, like, two months, you probably would not believe me. Alright. What are you what are you here for anyway? Visiting their old pops, or just happen to be in the neighborhood? We were in Sigalia for work and it felt remiss to not at least make the effort plus I you know I haven't written to, to Ren either and this might be the only chance I get in another little while I suppose I should. Let's, let's, let's go upstairs. Let's not talk here. Your friends are welcome to join. Might be a bit cramped up there, though. The, I, the dog's not fine, by the way. I was just... It would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Follow me. Uh, he didn't... He won't, he won't, he won't. Sort of like Name's walking. Kalaros, by the way. I was saying, as I was saying, he is doing some doing introductions. I'm like, oh, I'm a Latin Jewish for not Dumba. I, I, I was going to introduce you all upstairs, but how do you spell that? Okay. K E L E R O S. I'll put all the names in. Thank you. Tonka. And as you get upstairs, you can see um, this like 
living space. Um, and he just kind of plops himself on a couch and just kind of motions. Just have a seat wherever. Find it. If there's a chair, I'll find a chair. Yeah, I'll just like sit. Yeah, there's a couple of couches, a chair. One chair. They're all kind of like circled. They're all kind of like circled around like a fireplace. I'll find a spot next to the fireplace and just sit cross-legged on the floor, almost in like like meditating stance, but just save room on the couch for others. Oh, don't ask me why, by the way, but I got you this just in case I would ever see you again. Oh. And he like throws a small parcel at you. Oh, Happy birthday. Anthrax. Uh, <laughs> when was we're, it? We're... Um, it was it was a week ago. About about a week ago. About six, six days. Six ago. days ago. Six days ago. The when the, the other ago. thing that happened. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You want me to shame that those two days are going to be or... forever? It's up to you, really. I'll open the package. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. <laughs> uh, inside of it is a kind of like a, a, a metal, a small met, like not usable, but like a small metal um, mug that is attached to like a small chain. So it's like a little little necklace. Oh. Figured I'd had a little more time on my hands. I'd make you something in case I was gonna. Try and figure out where you live now or whatever, but never really figured it out, so I just figured I'd hold on to it just in case. We've sort of been on the move a lot. There's... We spend my birthday in the hells, put it that way. And I do not mean that as a, a metaphor. As a token of speech, no. It's no, not a shit It's not It's that much. It's Eldilon. fucked. Made your way all the way to the new world, did you? I had that look of like not oh, realizing what I fucking said because no, I <laughs> just assume it's good knowledge. I'm pretty sure you never told him like... that, that that's where you were, right, Brooks? I'm pretty sure that he doesn't know. Didn't tell him where I was going. Yeah, exactly. Uh, very, very much like <laughs> I, I, I put my foot in it really here. <laughs> Ooh, I'll give, I'll give Brooks on the. I'm bad. <laughs> well, what's that like? Fucking humid, but <laughs> interesting. You can see that he's like he's trying to remain composed and have some form of like conversation, like an, an an adult conversation. But you can tell that he's holding. You can tell that he's holding back. Like everybody can tell, he's holding back. Mm. He's pissed. <clears throat> we. Fuck, like, I have been into fucking temples, we've stopped an assassination attempt, we've, <laughs> fucking, uh, the amount of shit that we've done, I don't understand half of it, but, we're sort of doing the right thing, I think. What, you're... Like, mercenaries, but only being hired to do the good stuff? <laughs> yeah. Just the good stuff, but not outright bad stuff. When you say suppose it's better than... To... Could have gone a lot worse, given what happened here. We, I mean, we sort of just stumbled into each other, in a way. Alright, um... Staying for dinner tonight? If you'll have us. Of course. And after, after all that happened, still my son and all that. Where's Ren? Um. Yeah, well, I was meant to write you a letter, but I didn't know where to address it. So here we are. You you know that Ren had aspirations uh, regarding 
studies and whatnot, but his condition made it a bit difficult, right? Uh, a few weeks ago, a man visited that, um, well, seemed very knowledgeable about both his condition and magical studies. And after talking to him for a few days, um, and talking to Ren about it, he decided to go with the man so he can study what he wanted to study, as well as potentially find some semblance of help regarding making life a little more manageable, given his, you know, illness, I suppose. I feel like I've never given the rest of you proper context on- I mean, none of you have ever asked. Well, yeah, you kind of yelled at me last time I tried to no, find stuff I, No, I yelled at you for going through my shit. Well, it was personal information. You don't really want to pry unless it's kind of, like, offered up, you yeah, know? Yeah, I'm like... sort of wrapped up in my own bullshit, so, you know. Euron was always uh, a little frail. But Doctors didn't, didn't really know. For... What exactly to call it? It's just, just weak, weaker, some kind of affliction, and um, well, let's just say that the expectation was that his lifespan drastically less than the average person, and well, very low energy, very just can't really do much, stay at home most of his time, but like I said, a man came a couple of weeks ago and seemed trustworthy and knowledgeable and well, Ren wanted to take up some study regarding magical you know, magic really in general and was not really able to do that and um, well, the man did seemed person, knowledgeable. Hmm? Did this person have any tattoos? I don't think so, no. Did they, okay, well, did they say where good. they were, were going, or...? Um... Not exactly, just that, um... Wait, I have it written down here somewhere, and he kind of goes through some notes. Fucking, I gotta dig this up myself now, dude, hold up. <laughs> he goes through some notes, as Dutch goes through some notes. Shit that, yeah, I, shit that I wrote, like, months ago, that I now have to, like, dig up, yeah. That's the DM special, right? It's like, oh, this probably comes at some point. Ago. It might have been, might have been over a year now. Yeah, we are session sixty. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, been a minute. Um, old. Hold on to what? Hold on to the chair. Me cock. Oh. <laughs> what were ragging? Could have just say your fucking TM2. Thanks. Yeah. It's a bit out of context now, but yeah. <laughs> I know, but I got it. <laughs> cool. Um. His name's Rahadin. And, um, just had to address a letter to, uh, Castle Ravenloft. Oh, fuck. Well, shit. I'm gonna do my best to keep a straight face for now. Same. Oh, no, Lashman has the, the like, he's not. Jax is like... <laughs> a legend has that look of dread on his face. Like, <laughs> you alright? You just went like ten shades more pale than you already were. Hmm? Looks at you. Uh, no, no I think it, I I um. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Something else. Sorry, so I, I've got a lot on my mind at the moment. I'm uh, you can ask old Brooks. I'm a bit uh, paranoid about certain things, so I overreact. I also just signed nice. a chest. Oh, I was so hoping we wouldn't have to go back or go there. <sighs> 
Sorry, go on. You were you were saying. Well, this man came and um, talked about knowing a bit more about condition that af affects Ren and um, being able to help him with the, with with the studies that that he learned that he wanted to learn about and. You know, because we obviously started talking about his aspirations and whatnot, and when when he learned about him wanting to study magic and 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 and, and the sorts, we mentioned they could help, and also that um, the potential position as some kind of uh, assistant there, uh, in exchange for you know a roof over his head, food, um, and potentially help uh, with his ailment. How long ago? Uh, um, a bit over a week now, I think. When he left. Okay. We're all just like, oh no. No, <laughs> <laughs> Literally, uh, instant, like, silent whoa. panic. <laughs> Let us know something. Something more pressing than the elemental plane of air. Yeah, uh -huh. literally, literally, we've gone from being like this shroud thing can wait to be like, dear God, guess it's cast around now. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, uh, he seemed very nice though, and um, knowledgeable, more knowledgeable than I. And do you know how it is with since? You know, it was just me and him here. Um, I was I was running the forge while also having to take care of him, and it just became a bit too much. I am going to lie through my teeth. Okay. I'm Better sure it'll do cheeks. him a world of good. Make a deception check. <laughs> Does he get disadvantage because of, like, Lazarin going all pale and, like, no, the group? No, no. No, okay. Uh, deception? It's triple disadvantage. Mm -hmm. 25. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. He, uh, he seemed excited to finally be able to pursue some kind of education. Oh, I was going to make a really bad joke, but I don't even think it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not a good idea. So, um, as of, you know, about a week ago, I've been able to focus on the forge a bit more, and, um, you know, I uh, got a lesser... A few days ago, that they arrived at at, at Ravenloft, uh, you know, in one piece, and he's going to begin it... his uh, studies soon. Can I have a look at the letter? Oh yeah, of course. And he kind of goes through it and hands it to you. Is it is it Eorin's handwriting? Um, yeah, yeah. As someone who is very good at forging letters. Mm -hmm. Am I able to tell if this is genuine? Make a make an investigation check with advantage because this oh, is something I'm you not know. good at investigation checks. Mm, yeah, you asked. <laughs> well, I'll give you advantage uh, though because uh, you know, this is your sixteen thing. with advantage. Yeah, no, this seems pretty much. You, you don't think this is doctored in any way? This seems genuinely seems Ren's handwriting. Okay. It has like it's like sealed, and you can see that in the seal that it's now been broken. You can see like this like semblance of a raven. Okay. Okay. <gasps> okay. I mean... Who starts first? Do you want the fucking... Long and winding about what we've been up to? Or do you want to start with what's happened here? Or... I mean, what's happened here? Nothing much. Um... Don't know how much your friends are aware, but after the incident, I got told by Yorick what happened, and it wasn't say, really something no. in your control, so that made me realize that I probably wouldn't see you for a while, and took care of Ren for the longest part, while also trying to keep the chop afloat, and small town, not really much happens here, so don't really have much to tell, to be honest. Now, I'm being careful for the sake of being careful, but as far as I'm aware, there's 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 no law issues here. No, you can thank York for that. Yeah, sort of owe him for that, I guess. 
Was, uh, had a way with words when, when the guards came knocking. What? I mean, I got a bow. I went to Eldalon. I met up with Jackson at Tavern. He's very fucking good at making things. Is that so? Yes, I, I was curious if I could perhaps uh, rent out your forge for a day. For what? Uh, well, I'd like to do some uh, refining, and uh, I don't own a forge of my own, so... Um... Is he good, Brooks? Is he not going to ruin my shop? He is probably the <laughs> only person in this group who wouldn't ruin it. I do have some orders that I still need to make today, but... Um... I'm also a very good assistant. Once I'm done with it, um, give me a few hours and I'll... It's all yours. It's all I have laying around for the rest of the week, so... Oh. Uh, that would be wonderful. Uh, whatever the cost, just let me know. It's fine. I'll slide over the brass knuckles. You kind of, like, like, takes him and looks at him. Not too shabby. I would have personally done a few things differently, but... Looks pretty alright. He's... When it comes to actually the the whole designing process that I was never fond of, he comes into his own. All right. Yeah, so like I said, um, once we're done here, give me a few hours to finish up my orders for the week, and don't think I'll need to forge again until, you know, the next customer comes knocking unexpectedly, which I don't really expect, so... Knock yourself out. We... Fuck, I mean, we were... We were at a festival. Uh, we found a bunch of people that tried to assassinate someone important over there. I think I heard about that. Um, like the Empress's um, sort of consort Empire. or assistant, like whoever's in charge there for the Empire, right? Regent, I believe. Regent, right. Yeah. I forget the terminology. I'm not very political. I heard about an assassination attempt, and so you were the ones that stopped it? Yeah, I mean, we were there when it was attempted. We went and found the people that had attempted You got the culprits? Yeah. Alright. I have to say, that's that not what was... I expected you to be up to. I mean, it wasn't... I didn't have that much of a choice in it, realistically. Like... I, for the most part, have gone along with what these guys want to do in the hopes of keeping them alive. Uh, and you're doing good things, yeah? I... Probably not the person to ask, but I think so. Well, it Do seems that these it's... people have a better influence on you than your last band of friends. And you can... Oh, I'd love you to can, hear about the, that. The, 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 ooh, the, the aggression and, like, he, he's spitting poison. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. I mean... I mean, he's a fucking cleric. He's a man that likes the wilderness and nature and that shit. She's probably the most moral one of us all. And she's an absolute terrible influence, but we balance out. There's bad influence, and then there's bad influence. You know. As long as that influence doesn't that... involve the shit you were up to with your previous band of friends, then only up from here. Same skill set. Different motives. Placement. Fair enough. I highly doubt they were the exact same skill set. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Brooke, eerily, same eerily similar. <laughs> Brooks does the same shit. It's just different. Still breaking and entering. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's still B and E and violence. Nah, man. Yo, assault and battery. That's my gig, bro. Uh, all right. Well, um, 
fucking love a bit of a song. Nothing about the place changed, so I'm gonna hear. Oh, You're free to. Uh, I I would invite you all to stay the night, but might get a bit cramped. But I can get you some rooms at the at the tavern. I don't need one. I'm I'm fine to just stay here. All right, suit yourself. I mean, I guess these couches are pretty comfortable too. If that's what you prefer. Um, yeah, it'll be fine. Drinks and food are still where they were when you still lived here, Brooks. So by all means, if you or your friends need anything, I'll go downstairs and uh, finish up those orders so your friend can use the forge after me. I'm not going to be offended if you say no. Do you want a hand or would you rather... Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Fair. Fair. <gasps> okay. <laughs> You did see that when he said that, like there was like a slight smirk as he walked past you. He's been he's it's been like waiting. He's, he's, he's been waiting to, to be in a position to say that to you for a while. It's getting. Can we adopt him as our dad? Right, <laughs> I mean, party dad. Ask him. He adopts Brooks. <laughs> you are true, right. and he regrets that. <laughs> he regrets doing that <laughs> after all the shit that happened. Uh, yeah, so he goes back downstairs, and shortly after, you can you can start hearing the like smithing sounds pick up again. So. That's a fucking problem. What? what? Uh, Ren's in fucking Ravenloft. Oh, yeah, um, that. Yeah, that a, is... Yeah. yeah, that's a problem. No. I really wanted to put that off. My um, only... Do we know where Ravenloft is? We I'm just have and, an invite to go back. We just got teleported back. there and back, it's right? Like another yeah. place, right? It's you, like not... you were told to look for like a certain... Uh, what was it again? It's been a while. You were told to look for, 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 for a tavern of some sorts, if you want to, to ever go back. Something with ravens. I forget exactly, but Laura probably has it written down somewhere. Easier access yeah. to My only, the only oh, thought that is keeping me from freaking out mm -hmm. is that they don't know he's my brother. I mean, uh, well, I wouldn't assume that. That's how much they know overall, really. It's kind of a coincidence that we have a run-in with this mm -hmm. Ravenloft, and, like and then got, a few weeks down the line, they come down here you. and get your brother. His beef is entirely with those two. It is nothing to do with me. Just let me hold out this hope. I mean, also, like I say, what does the difference make? Because the difference sort of between over the invited. difference between they're gonna teach him potentially corrupting magic versus they're keeping him as a prisoner. It could be both. What yeah. if they're just making him better from his little frail illnesses? You know? They could be helping him. I, as far as I'm aware, there is very little that can help him. I hear bloodletting is a very legitimate practice of medicine. I mean, we're <laughs> we are not that knowledgeable. Vampires are pretty Whether immune. someone's drinking it or not, I mean, I, I vampires think, are pretty uh, immune yeah, to but... all manner of diseases, right, guys? <laughs> Dutch. It was. You know, it like... was. Hello? Are we, is, just, uh, as a student of history, would I know anything about why they'd be recruiting him? No, because this is something that is, you know, it's not of this plane. So that, okay. And the only okay. knowledge about this place that you have is Good. what you learned from uh, whatever Daigon and, and Kes shared with you about their initial it was, introduction with them. And it, then the experience yeah. with like the, the ghost house and the kids and, and that. Gotcha, and the, okay. It was yeah, section 36 that we went to Ravenloft, yeah. or went yeah, to... Yeah, the instruction the on how to find, how to go back was just, when you're ready to talk, find the raven's nest. There you go. Yeah. The raven's nest. God damn. When you're ready to talk. God, what a bastard. Yeah. What a bastard! <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Cocky vampire man. <sighs> He's fucking hot, though. So. True. <laughs> Looks like Matt Mercer. How do I put <laughs> this? Ren was born. Yorin was very, very frail when he was born. And Wait, is his name Yorin or Ren? I'm confused. Yorin, but we call him Ren. Okay, thank you. Because Eorin's a fucking mouthful. He's... <sighs> he 
he always had a knack for magic shit, but never really managed to study it outside of the books that he could get his hands on because he, you know, struggled on his own. And his his mom, Thea, didn't make it through childbirth and that's a whole thing and dad adopted me because the hope was we would grow up together and I would look after him. And the thing keeping me from freaking out at the moment is the hope that it is based on his magic ability and not to get back at us. Is his magic ability something that you have been aware of? Like, I mean, he's he's always been like as 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 early as I remember, he was like making things fucking hover and like we're talking like know. a sorcerer. I look, man. I was a kid to a teenager, and I'm not a studier of magic. He. You know, it could do some of the more trivial shit that you guys can do. But, you know, he was like 10 to 14 and would need to rest afterwards because he was fucking exhausted. Mm -hmm. And you aren't or related by blood. Like, no. magical no. shit that I could do. Did, you, did it make you nauseous when you did this magical shit? Or more he like really arcane? Did. He never really did magical shit on me, but I don't think it was from a deity, deity. if that's what you mean. Yeah, so it's more... So you where I, where where I, came I never from... got that horrible smell around it, but... Where I came from, there was this belief that if you were born with a physical, um, like, something missing or physical ailment or deformity, it was believed you would be blessed with another gift to make up for it and maybe that's the the trade-off that he got i mean was his mom magical do you know i i don't you would you'd have to ask that but it's not i mean i'm just curious what i never I'm really not tried... the old man. i never really tried to pry about her it's not it felt like a conversation between him and, and Ren because she was his mother and not mine. Right, but, but what, she wasn't around as long as you were? Or, as yeah. What happened to her? She she died giving birth to Ren. I, yeah. I just said that, my dude. And well, listen, <laughs> there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. I'm just <laughs> trying to put the pieces together. I'm thinking, well, I, I definitely don't think it's my place to bring that up I to anybody but I'm just this is a pretty quiet town so unless he was like exceptional I don't understand how he would end up on the radar of the people of Ravenloft you know I mean he he sent you know he, he researched heavily into anywhere that would potentially take him and Last I know, he was he was looking, but so Ravenloft has a good PR team, is what we're finding. Out. I don't know shit about Ravenloft, to be honest. Well, how would he find out about it? Summer camp. You're asking the wrong person. <clears throat> well, well, right. Yeah, I guess. But would it be? We should probably bring this up, and maybe have a look in his room or something and see if there's like reading material or something that would hit I have this book on, on Barovia yeah but what no what I'm saying is maybe if we look around uh, his room we'll find some hint as to how he even caught onto it. if he reached out to Ravenloft how he found out about it otherwise if they just showed up and said oh you're take him away 
The the yeah, book though could also help us him. figure out what the this raven's nest meaning is. We could also should also do that to look yeah. for how to get there, since we seemingly are going to be doing that soon. Where's Ren's room? Old room. I Still room. Well, go and open the door to yeah. your room. Like every all the rooms are on the same. There's no further upstairs because you're already upstairs. So there's just. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's this living room where you're in. There is a, a kitchen kind of attached to it, and then there is like three or four rooms. It's like a, it's like a cottage, but like yeah, hmm. an upstairs floor. I'm gonna go in Ren's room. Uh, do you notice that the door is locked? I'm picking the door. <laughs> Heck yeah. Okay. Mm. Wait! 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 Wait. Okay, well, no, you go ahead and pick it, but I have, I have an idea. What if it's trapped? That, really. If it's picked, Would he... it, it doesn't work, she's just gonna... Yeah, just Would go he... ahead and do your do your audio roll. Go ahead and do the thing. Okay. Would he, like, put shit on the door lock? I mean, find out if you fuck it up, mm -hmm. and I'll laugh at you. And if not, I can just go through the door and unlock it. <laughs> sure. uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna take the risk, okay? I'm just gonna pick it. <laughs> Uh, that's what is that? What's the check for that? Dex plus proficiency, uh, right? Yeah, proficiency, yeah. Yeah, if you have proficiency in thieves tools, which I, well, you do, you've done it's it before. Yeah. Uh, fifteen, nineteen, twenty-three. Yeah, that's more than plenty to fucking yeah to pick that. As you uh, you open the door, oh. and you can see that the room. Uh, there's this very large bed, which is very low to the ground. Uh, so there's a small... There's no real desk, but there is like a little movable wooden like surface that is attached to the bed that can be like moved to be hover over the bed essentially, so that he can use that while laying down. Uh, it's just like a, just not much when it comes to like clothes. There's some like papers kind of strewn about, uh, some books, but uh, otherwise it seems fairly empty. I want to look through the books and the papers for anything relating to ravens and Strahd and so on. One more time. Uh, I want to look through the papers and the books for anything to do with ravens, Strahd, mm -hmm. and Barovia. Barovia. Or the phrase Raven's Nest. Uh, make, an phrase, uh, make an investigation check. Awesome. Well, beanie at our beanie, you know? Hmm. Yeah. 21? 21? Uh, you look around mm -hmm. and there is an old journal that he seems to have written in the past uh, months. That he decided to either forgot or decided to just leave behind. As you kind of like go through that, uh, there is a uh, an entry that dates back uh, a few weeks. That states how one night he was just kind of laying in his bed and uh, it got really bad, a lot of pain. And he just kind of began, began yelling about that he would do anything to find a way to cure this and, and live his life as he dreams of living it. And that shortly after, a raven started pecking at his window. And he kind of in pain right. crawled, out fucking of his, Hogwarts. crawled out of his bed to open the window and the raven entered. And the raven then changed shape and turned into a man that um, had a talk with him. Uh, promising that he could fix him. All he had to do was leave his family behind and come with him when, when he came back to pick him up. Cool. And that's the last entry? Uh, there's a few more. There's a couple of entries that are kind of like, I don't know how to tell dad. Uh, then there's a journal entry about how... Um, I told I told Dad he wants to meet the man before he allows me to go. Um, not sure if that's going to happen. And then a few days later, uh, the man came again. This time he knocked on the door instead of my window. 
um, me, him, and dad had a long talk. He stayed for a few days to convince dad to let me go with. We're leaving tomorrow. That's the last entry. Okay. I will put the journal down. Are there any, like, trinkets and stuff in that room? Uh, or Robin? Oh, then no. Like, he took most of his stuff with him. There's a couple of, like, just, like, pieces of paper, a couple of books. But, like, as far as trinkets go... No, that seems to always be gone. Cool. I will leave and close the door behind me. Mm -hmm. uh, and basically recap what the journal said. I mean... So he called onto the... the world and got his answer? Someone was listening. Do you think he's making a pact with this entity? Maybe not. All things mm. Similar to Davian? We don't know. I mean, it could be anything. Could just be a teacher. Entity I would like him to have a pact with, but <clears throat> here's what it comes down to, Brooks the moment, I suppose. <sighs> Is this something that you want us to help in? I mean, he's, he's my brother, and that dude's an asshole, right? We can't just fucking leave him there. And then goes to you, Kess. Is this something you're willing to put on the back burner for helping out your dad? I mean, we have to wait for more information anyway. Oh. I mean, yeah, we need to figure out where the fuck this place is. Looks like we're going to have to find out information about... Ravenloft and the likes. Why am I going to okay, see no, man. Why can't anything, anything just happen on our doorstep? You know what I mean? <laughs> Well, obviously we're going to have to take a... I think we'll have a bit of a... Deal with what we're currently dealing with, obviously. Probably have a couple of rest days. It's been a... A few... It's been a week of... Stress, shall we say. Oh, yeah. Uh, just a, yeah, a week of stress, you know. Oh, hard week at the office. Right. You know, I'm trying to be light about it because it's been fucking awful, Tavion. I'll be yeah, honest with you. I'm surprised horrible. all of us are still here. It has been fucking horrible. Right, just overall. Um, I cannot sit here and do nothing because it's really fucking irritating me, so I'm gonna go cook. Well, that's fine. Okay. I mean, uh, um, Cass, you should probably relock the door. I will do that. Yeah, sure. I will go in the kitchen and start cooking. I'm, you let I'm him cook. Go to the tavern and find a nice. Now. <laughs> I don't even have the energy for comely wenches at this point. I'm just gonna have a. <laughs> I'm the comely wench. <laughs> Never say that again. <laughs> I was thinking that out of character. Don't worry. Well, not anymore. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm comely wench, essentially. Me, Tavian. <laughs> okay. Anyways, uh... the tavern, eh? Mm. Just like. I mean, awkward fucking walk out. You can all fucking stay for tea if you want. I, I was going to say I'd like to stay to, for when the forge is ready. I mean, if Davian's going to Davian, I'll go Davian. Don't want to leave him by himself now. They call me Tavian Davian. Um, I guess mean, you can fuck up and get a room after you've eaten, but if you want to fucking eat it, no, I'm fine. We'll eat here. I just I didn't want to do want to intrude, you know. A beer's made Not of bread. Not necessarily imminently, but Kess, maybe also we could ask um, Elsinil about this raven's nest thing. Maybe that she'll have some insight. Time. She might know some stuff. Perhaps. Perhaps. Perhaps not. I want to look for Brooks. Take it as no assault to your cooking I mean, there's, Brooks, there's but... four doors. Yeah, so Kaz is just ignoring 
ignoring Ren's room, she's just gonna like peek in the other rooms until she finds one that looks like Brooke's room. It's his dad's room, his room, or the bathroom, so. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. The bathroom, like, this must be Brooks's room. It's a shithole. Uh, hey! It's a shithole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eventually, you stumble upon a room that you reckon is probably Brooks's. What's in it? Because of all of it. Brooks? Do I notice that she's Naughty going in my posters. room, or is she trying to stealth this? Um. Oh, is Kess oh. stealthing right now? Because I'm cooking, so yes. I'm not actively paying attention. Mm -hmm. What's he cooking? I'm stealthing. Okay. Let him cook. <laughs> um, roll stealth check, just uh... uh this will be against my passive, right? I don't yes. think she can fail. <laughs> no, not I'll crash her bonuses and shit. Unless she not wants. Yeah. 25. Okay. <laughs> my, <laughs> passive, <laughs> uh, my passive perception's 12, so... My active perception yeah. only hits uh, that when I fire well, Brooks, 20. As Kes goes into your room, your room has not changed. Your your Brooks's dad hasn't touched it. So would you care to describe to, to Kes what she sees? <laughs> I mean, okay. So Brooks's childhood bedroom is fairly small, but it's you know it's comfortably furnished. There's a surprisingly neatly made bed. Um. There's, it's like, so the bed itself is like bigger than a single, but smaller than a double. It's like one and three quarter. Um, there's a bookshelf directly next to the bed, like one of the, like maybe two, three foot tall ones. Um, there's, in one of the corners, there's a full length mirror. There's a window uh, that has the curtains drawn. Um, there's a large wooden wardrobe and uh, a few shelves and a worn desk. On the shelves, there are uh, like a few little decorative metalworks that you gather would be from when Brooks was learning to smith. Um, the desk is mostly clear, apart from like some paper and some charcoal. Uh, the ward I mean the the bookshelf that's by his bed would mostly be uh like there's a few children's books and then they sort of transition up to like teenage and young adult um Smart. there are stories of like there's sort of generic material playing fairy stories there are a lot of fey books uh, there's a few history books, a few dramas and tragedies, a few comedies, and there's like two or three very tattered cookbooks. I'm gonna rummage through the desk. Um, yeah, there's... Would Brooks have put things in a secret drawer, or would he have left them in a normal drawer? Yeah. How far I, I Brooks down the shady path before he left? I mean, if there's a there's yeah. a like a hidden bottom to a drawer, but I assume that Kess finds it because she has insane passive everything. Yeah, yeah. probably. There's so, no letter we stop the rest. So there's there's some room. paper, there's some quills, there's some charcoal, there's a few like very early sketches. Um, one of the drawers has a false bottom, and underneath there's, like, nothing super exciting, but, like, some, uh, some wax, uh, some, like, the little beads of wax that you melt down to put seals on things, and, uh, a blank stamp that could be carved into something. Forgery tools, okay. but not gonna... extensive forgery tools. Forgery for beginners. Uh, yeah. Forgery for dummies. I'm going to put back oh, everything the way I found it. <laughs> and I'm going to take one of the little mini miniature things that he smithed and just put it in my pocket and leave. All right. Yeah, that, there's like, like a, a letter opener and a fucking uh, like a 
piece of chain that's only like three links. Um, a fucking a mini shield. Shit like that. A letter opener. Of course. <laughs> gonna write this down. <clears throat> Alright, team. Uh, after a few hours, unless there's anything you guys want to do, um, Kalaros comes back upstairs and. Um, right. So we um, the tavern. Yes. Forge is all yours. You still don't break anything. I, I will uh, do my best not to. Okay. Uh, who's headed to the tavern? Me and Devin. <laughs> Me and the Lazarin. Yep. As you get to the tavern, it's uh, it's pretty small. Uh, the Lakeside King. Cheat sheet. The what? The Lakeside oh, what? My cheat sheet king. that I sent. The Lakeside in. King. Yeah, Lakeside called. King. Uh, and you see inside, there's, it's not. You, it's the middle of the day. It's a very small village, so there's, you can see inside. There's two people, one of which is standing behind the bar. You see this like uh, this kind of uh, pale, very like ugh, pudgy, kind of kind of little flabby looking human, uh, but his face completely covered in tattoos um, with uh, with a gray beard. And you can see that uh, at one of the tables, there sits a a, a blonde-haired gnome, uh, equally co covered in tattoos and, and piercings. It's kind of having a drink. Those are the only two people I mean, I guess I'll, Yeah, I guess I'll walk up to the bar. I'll follow. You know, from here... Good uh, morning, afternoon. Is Afternoon, it? I think. Getting there at least. Okay, for a drink? Yeah, as far as I can measure, it's late enough for a drink. Uh, <laughs> do ales? And I just kind of look at Lazarin. Yeah, an ale will do. We. Yeah. I'll brew some fine ales myself, I must say. Uh, I have a couple of uh, recommendations for you if you want something out of the uh, the norm. Yeah, something pale and strong for me, I think. All right. You as well, sir. Okay, anything? Uh, anything up to the ordinary, that way. All right. He uh, pours you two uh two pale ales and uh, hands them to you. That'll be three copper each, then. I will put a gold down and say, just keep the change. Generous tipper. All right. Go well... often. I mean, do you also do rooms here and the likes? We have a few available, yeah. But how much are they? Costing? Two silver a night. Put that towards that. Includes breakfast. Sounds wonderful. We'll have a single double. We'll take we'll take two rooms if that's take possible. Take one each, yeah. Yeah. All right, so that'll be uh, yeah, we'll two put, silver that... to each of you. Well, just put that gold piece towards it all. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, that works. Just say keep the change overall. All right. So, uh, what well, brings you stone for then? We don't really get many, uh, many strangers, especially. Oh, I mean, bucket over there, and he like points at the gnome. Mentioned a group of uh, armed to the teeth individuals entering town, looking like a ragtag group of just random people. You know, but grabbed from a grant bag, say. and uh, well, there's Richard probably Keith. some story there, right? So, what's the deal? Uh, well, um, actually we're sort of security detail for, uh, an elven lord who's for some reason paying a visit. We're not really sure why, but we're just here to make sure the place is, uh, you know. Elven lord. You know, we get paid to follow him. Not yeah, Elevandria, Elevandria is Make his a name. deception check. Um, <laughs> oh, it's good. It's like t at least, at least 20. Let me check. Uh, 21. An elven lord coming to Stonefall? I haven't heard of this. When's that supposed to happen? What uh, about? Well, as long as everything goes well and the place looks all right, hopefully, probably about a week and a half's time. But uh, we're just kind of, you know, doing a bit of recon and then going back. And, right. you know, right. apparently there's some sort of uh, ancient temple or, or or something or other. I, I don't know. I know. We I'm not a historian, but... 
Yeah, What's... we don't get paid to know what he's doing. We just get no. paid to fair enough. Check these uh, I mean, out, it's a quiet know? town. There's no one really here. Uh -huh. uh, it's a fly. Really. Well, for the most part, Look, Un we... unprovoked. Look... Uh, no one here is really that. Well, that sounds like a story in itself. Well, but for the most part, eh? and I I pull out a scrap of paper and like a <laughs> quill. Like... <laughs> yeah, what do you mean for the most part, you know? Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> you start a fight with someone, they're going to defend themselves, right? Right, of course. People so as long as your elven your lord doesn't come here with the intention of, I don't know, attacking someone, then you should be good. And what is nobility generally well received in these parts? Yeah, of course. Yeah, no problems there. See, why not? No. If uh, his, uh Tipping behavior is as good as yours, then by all means. Well, I mean, uh, you know, their mouths could be a bit. I suppose that's true. You never know. Yeah, well, yeah, you never know. But uh, we'll make sure to let him know. Sit well, right? All right. Uh, uh, I mean, other than, you know, whatever he's actually coming down here for, any sightseeing you might recommend? Uh, got to kill some time? Uh, yeah, I mean, is he, uh, is obviously, there's the lake. To the south of Stone Fall, which is kind of why this tavern uh, is named this way. It's called Siren Shallow. I don't know if you've heard of it, but uh, it's um, it's a lake with a bit of a story uh, to it. Uh, supposedly, this siren lives in it, uh, but only comes out at specific times a year. And uh, maybe it's linked to that whole temple shenanigans that you're here for. I don't really know. Um, but it's a, it's a pretty sight on a sunny day. Uh, other than that. Uh, not much out here, really, to be honest. It's, uh, it's pretty boring down here. Not much. Speaking of pretty sights on a sunny day, and I just pick up my ale and, like, raise it up. Enjoy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I pick up mine as well. It's my own uh, yeah, yeah, my, yeah. my own recipe, so I hope you enjoy. How does it, ta does it taste? Okay. Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay. I, I, it would suck if it's like, it's my own recipe, and it's just like... No, I mean, it's definitely not. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not the best ale you've ever had, but it's definitely not. It's not, it's not like sewer, right sewer water or anything. It's, it's all right. It's pretty good. It'll do. It's not dishwater. That's six, six out of ten. Yeah, uh, six point five. Good. But it has a good personality, so it's yeah, ten. Exactly. All right. Well, f feel free to sit, sit anywhere. Uh, is your room keys, and he hands you a key each. Oh, so. Just um, you need anything? Just uh, give me your holler. Huh? Is there like a oh, table you... far away? <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, there's like five tables total in this room. Like it's not like I said, it's not very spacious, but uh, yeah, you can. Okay. Just, it's one in the corner. All right then, uh, Humphrey, you want to go take a table? Of course, damn it. I am, and we'll get up, go take take one far from the bar, close to the door. Yeah. yeah. I will awesome. give Davian this fucking look. Of fucking have a door. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to actually tell him, and then I realized everything that, you know, yeah. Brian said or whatever. So, mm. probably best not to uh, say anything. Definitely. Elevandriel, Elevandriel, though, eh? Hey, hey. <laughs> no, you got that one from. If we have, if, well, if we end up back here in a couple of weeks, uh, we'll have to get someone, you know, Chess yeah. or someone to yeah, it'll be fine. do a little bit of, yeah. Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah, by might the get way? some free stuff, you know? Yeah, maybe. How are you right, honor right honorable? How are you? How are you doing, Davian? Fucking mm, terrible. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I sort of got that bit. Yeah. yeah. Not sleeping great. No. Anything else? Um. Anything heard from Kasuf at all? Anything or? Yeah, I'm pretty quiet on the old uh, fiery front, but right now I think that's for the best. I mean, I'm not asking too much. He's not giving too much, I suppose. Fair enough, I suppose. Just, Just uh, checking in, you know. Yeah. I know I had my little outburst earlier. I apologize for that. A lot of, you know, a lot happened. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not too excited to see fucking Ravenloft again. Yeah, I mean, or, well, yeah, technically what, you what, haven't got to Ravenloft, right? Bo 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 Ravia or some shit, what's it called? Barovia? Barovia? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no. Not, not too thrilled about that, but I mean, I mean, one of these days we'll have, a, we'll have a 
nice adventure that's go to this paradise island and just look after the bar for a week you know One yeah i mean well you know coming here sort of um, um maybe you feel the same but you know when you think guest talks to her dad pretty much every day and now we're here seeing brooks's dad and it's like i haven't seen my parents in a, you know, what two months or something now i'm on that now and it's just been just been downhill ever since i mean you know <laughs> first time i fucking even set foot out of Briarstown was like that all went horribly wrong mm. uh, pretty much since then like man think if i didn't just stumble upon and... your didn't stumble upon your campfire that one day we wouldn't be here now eh? yeah but fuck i mean even before that <laughs> i'm telling you I tried. I, I took up, you know, the whole mercenary shtick. Like, you know, as soon as I was, as soon as I was done being bored, and like that's how I got here. But one, one caravan, right? It, it's fucking wild. I mean, wait, have, have you, you're from Fairbrothers first thing, right? You've been there. You've, you've not been there, yeah. So, yeah. Once you know, once they'd laid out sort of the, all right, here's Fairbrothers foot in, and here's everything in it. It was like, well every man and his dad was like charging into the woods looking for every snake and rock and like whatever that you they've never seen before so it was like a weird gold rush of like exotic stuff and i mean it's still going on <laughs> right exactly and i was helping i was out on the front with that mm. going out with this random groups of traders and making sure they didn't fucking kill themselves and like ever since that that's day one. I was like, yeah, fuck off. Let's go. Let's go for a jaunt into the woods and keep, you know, keep old whatever is Greg or something alive. First night in the jungle, killed in his sleep, stabbed every, fucking in the dark, weird dreams, waking up, there's fucking screaming, everyone's being stabbed, I'm running away. It's just been downhill from there. Fucking Yuan T down in Eldalon assassination attempts and then what hydra's fucking going to hell man. Car. Right. don't forget the when... dead goats children <laughs> when's it come up <laughs> when's well, it come up yeah vacation ups, i suppose along the way <laughs> not many though not sorry 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 it sorry. has been it sorry. has been it has been a uh, hell I to mean... skelter a downward spiral <laughs> to hell. I mean, I mean, you both friends. I mean, I've when's, exactly when's been... our entire anime beach arc? Not episode no, arc. No, right. <laughs> no fluffy Sometimes you find other groupie sources in your past is still very much after you. And, yeah. Um, and, yeah. Right. Uh, my paranoia seems to have made its way into the members of the party of well the yeah we're all group. paranoid for you but also for yeah, ourselves i mean exactly and that's the kind of the last thing i want but i can't help you know, it happens you know and i mean looking at a couple of the people in here you wouldn't even know if they had a spider web tattoo exactly and covered in god knows what and they are covered yeah but you know we we strive we survive I, going back to talking about parents i'd rather not see mine well maybe see my mother Father, eh. isn't your dad like sort of tied into this whole thing though? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if he got to see the man that you know sold me to a church. I saw your sister, yeah, that's always a delight. Um, <laughs> you know, definitely cut from the same cloth, yes, and it is a very, very yeah, expensive obviously. cloth. I mean, yes, it's <laughs> very much they're probably still paying for it. Um, but, you know, we move on, we strive, we're, we're here now, we've got a little bit of rest. And, you know, let's start some demon walk through the door right now, hey? Let's, uh, that happens. And I'll look at the door, it's just like... <laughs> See, look, everything's fine. <laughs> Brooks walks in, oh, fuck, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't a right, that wasn't a thing, that's not a thing, it's not a thing, I don't think that way. <laughs> um... like, I mean, you got you got to take solace where you can find it and... I guess times like this, warm bed. I guess maybe I haven't seen the rooms yet. Bed, for the sake of uh, bed, expediency. Well, uh... how dare you expedite my roleplay? 
Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck? Past four hours, guys. No, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's time to wrap up. Um, we'll say that, Jax. How long do you spend to, like trying to refine or do whatever it is you want to do? Eat up the ore or whatever. I'll I'll be an assistant. I want to refine the part where I can assist. Okay. So. How much can um, we get done? I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna have like the book out, following the process to a T. Okay, and you have Diagon helping you make a. Uh... No. Fuck. Gotta check with this beam. Make a fuck. <laughs> make a fuck. I mean, you can, I can just make the tools. No. Check my Smith's tools. Yeah, just make the want. tool check. Yeah, I guess. Fuck it. Yeah. With advantage, because uh, Diagon is helping you. See it. Yay. It was freezing coming. I help. You ever just like roll your dice out of your dice tray? All, All the, the time. time. Or like you just completely miss it. You like you just start to yeah. throw it from a distance and it just goes over and. Nice. You... Okay, and then I'm gonna use a tireless or a flash of genius. Sorry. Hey. To up my roll by five. Um, which will make it a 28. How much Arcanite do you have? I have two. Okay. You manage to, uh, get to the point where you needed to let it cool off for a good amount of hours. But so far, nothing blew up. It seems that you've heated up, it heated it up properly, and it's now just time to wait until it completely cooled down uh, on its own. So you have to leave that alone, like, probably overnight. Um... Okay. Um, I'm gonna set up an alarm spell around it. Okay. Ooh, um, yeah, you can do that. Just, just, just fine. You just put it somewhere like near the forge or just like in the in this room. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, shall we say that as it comes down to being dinner time, you all kind of gather up again, mm -hmm. because Brooks was cooking. Um, the and, tavern. Uh, I'm hoping that. He's kept the house stocked and isn't living off like bread and. No, beans. he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Uh, but like, as you guys are getting ready to like all sit around the table and have some dinner together, we'll pick this up next week. Oh yeah. Okay. I mean, we can play for another five hours. I mean, I could. I'm but... hungry. I gotta I mean, go make we're, dinner. We're picking yeah, up from from. Uh, James will make dinner. Yeah, he's doing we'll, dancing. We'll pick, we'll pick up with you guys having dinner. Yeah. So I should save till next week to tell you all what I'm cooking. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Save that for next week. We're going to actually go me and Delphine and have an actual hot heart again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was good, but I just like, I was like, dude, I, I, we, need to, we need to wrap up, man. It's it's time. <laughs> so. It's time. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed watching as well. Everybody, uh, thanks so much for the raid, Rollers of Fate. Appreciate you. Yeah. Um, thanks for the follows. Thanks for the subbies and all that good stuff today. You guys were awesome. And uh, excited for next sesh. Uh, Ethan, are you busy on Thursday? Uh, and let me double check my... I think we're doing a little one-on-one -on -one when it comes to uh, discourse after today. Oh, no. Well, Go in depth. Uh, do we also... We, since we have saved questions from whatever the oh, last Oh, true. Discord yeah, we'll have... Was, if if Laura is available, then we'll do make that a Laura and Ethan. Uh, yeah, I'm around. Yeah. Thursday? Yeah, I'll be home in time. All right, we'll do a uh, cheeky discourse with uh, Laura and Ethan this Thursday. Because okay. uh, yes, you, you are right. We have those questions saved up, so me. we'll do that as well. Yeah. So we'll be back, we'll be back on Thursday with Dungeon Discourse. Uh, for now, I saw that Play Dicely has gone live. So they have gone live. Oh, let's give them a cheeky oh. raid, shall we? What nerds playing D&D? &D? Yeah, losers. Who does that? <laughs> raid Play Dicely. Boom. Uh, if you have any emotes uh, because you're subbed here, uh, just spam them with them. Let them know we sent you. We'll be back here on Thursday with Engine Discourse, the show where we talk about the show. Uh, and uh, we'll be back uh, this next Sunday for the next session of Dungeon Select Campaign 2. Thanks Saturday for watching, everybody. And Saturday called another Evil Morris uh, channel. So, a lot of D&D &D to go around. Thanks for watching, yeah. and uh, catch you next time. Bye -bye. Bye. Later. Old. Old. Holding. Holding. Uh, raid now. Coming.